Welcome to Mount Vernon Rams football on WMIX and WMIXSports.com, where you can watch or listen from any device. Rams football on WMIX Sports is powered by the official voice of Rams Athletics, Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Rams football is also sponsored in part by the Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon, Ford Square and King City Chrysler. You can count on us, Red Lake College. Save thousands on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Van Terra Bank. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a Hospital. Raising the Bar. Winning Edge. Schmidt Ford of Salem. And also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem. Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. All Stars and Stitches. Central Christian Church. And People's National Bank. It's time to join Chris Hugo and Danny Zerwinski for Mount Vernon Rams football. From the Ford Square WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, the Landers Collision Center's pregame show starts now. And we welcome you to Rochester tonight, the opener for the Mount Vernon Rams 2013 football season, hoping for better results this year. Good evening, I'm Chris Hugo, Danny Zerwinski is alongside, live from your WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square. This is your Landers Collision Center's pregame show. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. Also details them all now as well in their Mount Vernon and Salem locations. Of course, next time you need them, give them a call. one triple A Landers. That's one eight 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 landers Welcome to the broadcast tonight. Glad to have you with us on the M940 online as well with video at WMIXSports.com. Also, listen to or watch from any device. You can follow us on Twitter as you have been able to the past few seasons at WMIX Sports. We're on Facebook as well. Pleasure to make your acquaintance here in 2013. The Rams are on the road tonight at Rochester, home of the three-time defending 4 AC champions in 10, 11, and 12. Danny, as I bring you in now, this is a different look at Rochester team that we're going to look at in depthly here in this Landers Flint Center's pregame show. But most importantly, before we get to all that, we're pretty excited. We have plenty of new features to talk about here tonight. A lot of new features, a lot of things that people, and listeners, and of course viewers will need to be staying around, especially at halftime. We're going to be talking about some new things. We'll get you up to date on all those scores going around with all the games around the state of Illinois. But a couple new features we've added at halftime. One of those uh, gives a little light on all the sports that's been going on at Mount Vernon High School during the week. And, of course, we're going to try that Mount Vernon Township High School Minute, which gives you an update on something going on non-athletically at Mount Vernon Township High School. We think as far as academic student-athletes are out here, it's important to shine light on some of the students and student activities going on at MVTHS. And those who know me know that I'm not shy about taking credit when something is my idea. But, of course, the MVTHS minute and Rams report, wonderful ideas that D.C. had, and they will add a remarkable thing in the broadcast. We'll have those for you in a half. We'll check in with all the other Malford and Rams sports. And, of course, I know you're not used to that. And, of course, we'll have the MVTHS minute, which we focus on the arts and academia of Malford and Township High School. Stay tuned for your second chance on a halftime show. You'll love that. You'll also love, we'll sit down with Coach here at Shaner in every pregame show now, for the rest of the season. Of course, it's a recap of our Saturday sports interview, which you can catch every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news on WMIX 940 and WMIXSports.com. Rams football is always powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. So thankful to have them back this year in 2013. So thankful. Of course, we're glad to be here with you. It's a hot Friday night in August. We'll give you the starting the kickoff temperature, I should say, here in just a moment. We need to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have an interview with Malford and Rams head football coach here at Shaner. This is Rams football from WMIX Sports. High school sports are back, and your source for scores is WMIXSports.com. Also, find archived local sports broadcasts, video highlights, national sports headlines, and more right at your fingertips. Listen and watch live WMIX sports broadcasts from your desktop or any mobile device. Need a score? Want to see a sick dunk? Miss a game? Didn't get up in time for the Saturday sports show? That's right. It's all at WMIXSports.com. Another free service from Winners Broadcasting. WMIXSports.com. At Banterra, we understand that banking is a relationship. It's a friendly face that knows your name, understands your needs, supports your goals. Banterra offers a complete range of personal and business banking products with competitive rates and loans that range from small projects to multi-million dollar opportunities. We offer conveniences such as online banking, mobile banking, and direct deposit. For a strong community bank with exceptional customer service, Banterra is a smart choice for your banking needs. Banterra Bank, a proud supporter of Southern Illinois High School Sports. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. When you hear the warm, inviting sound of a crackling fire, what comes to mind? A rustic campground? 
a cozy cabin. How about the new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center? Our new family lounges feature a lot of comforts you might not expect. Things like this. No, that's not a babbling brook or serene stream out in the countryside. It's a two-story waterfall located right here at Good Samaritan. And that's not the only way we're raising the bar for patient comfort. We've added lush healing gardens, as well as wall after wall of beautiful artwork, all designed to create the perfect healing atmosphere. And if all this sounds like music to your ears, we encourage you to check us out. Chances are, we're not too far from where you are right now. The new Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital, raising the bar. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. This is Rams football from WMIX Sports. Welcome back to the Landers Collision Center's pregame show. And, of course, at Landers Collision Center's big or small, Landers fixes them all. And now they detail them all, too. One eight 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 Landers. Next time you need them, that's one triple eight Landers. Next time you have collision repair done, ask about free detailing for the life of your car. Here at Rochester High School, the Rockets, the three-time defending four A state champions. What does that mean to Malvern Rams head football coach Jared Shaner? Well, a new facet of our broadcast this year, of course, is sitting down with Jared Shaner every Saturday morning, as we typically would on the Saturday Sports Show, but replaying that interview here on our pregame show. We hope you enjoy Saturday's interview with Mount Vernon Rams head football coach Jared Shaner. See what he has to say about the Rockets. See what he has to say about his team coming into 2013. It's finally here. That's about all I can say. That's exactly right. That's kind of my sentiments exactly. Um, you know, all the all the hard work and effort that go back from on the end of last season, throughout the winter and spring, into getting everybody here in the summer, and then from from doubles and, and kind of beating up on yourself. And we told the kids as we walked out the field last night, uh, this morning is officially game week. When you start talking about game week as a coach, I, I, do you worry more about yourself for week one, having not seen an opponent on tape, or do you kind of go through and, and start worrying a little bit about Rochester as the week goes on? I think it's a little bit of both. Um, obviously, you know, you've got to control what you can take care of and control. And, and um, so, you know, we'll watch film this morning and look at our, our scrimmage last night. And you know, obviously that has nothing to do with Rochester or what they do offensively or defensively. But, but just trying to trying to be good at the little things um, and, and be disciplined and, and take care of your own end. Um, but it, it wouldn't be very good coaching, in my opinion, if you ignored who you have to play. So, so we'll begin to talk about them a little bit today um, and uh, just kind of in general what they do offensively and defensively. And then, you know, throughout next week, that's when the preparation for them really starts and, um, and we just go from there. Looking at the returning players for your team, returning starters for both sides of the football and or key kids you want to name as far as players coming back for the 2013 season? Well, we've got, we've got a bunch of them, uh, which is a good thing. Um, you know, if we kind of start, we'll start on the defensive side. And, um, you know, in the secondary, we have a couple guys coming back, Toby Marshall and Doug Gardner. Uh, we have some linebackers who, who started or played significant time last year. Uh, Graham Hankin and then Andrew Heiner started getting some varsity time at the end of last year. Jacob Williamson has, has started and come in for two years now since he was a sophomore. Uh, defensive line-wise, we'll see a few new names. We I uh, had some older kids there last year that graduated, but um, I feel like our, our kids that are in there now are going to step up and, and do a nice job for us. And then on the offensive side of the ball, we really, um, depending on what game it was, we really lost two starters on the offensive side of the ball. Um, Clayton Reeves, our quarterback, to graduation, obviously, and then uh, Pat Bradford was a receiver along with Zane Young. Uh, and they kind of split some time out there, and, and uh, we started some different guys, so... A lot of guys coming back on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, all of our offensive line is back. Um, you know, all of our running backs are back. And again, uh, Jacoby Marshall played some receiver for us last year, so feel feel pretty good about the returners that we have. And and then a lot of young kids just stepping up and and uh, you know filling in some holes and competing and, and pushing some of those guys that have started for a year or two now. Looking at the South 7 Conference, the last couple of years it's been Centralia's playground and everybody's had to abide by their rules. They lost a considerable amount to graduation. However, when you look at the schedules this year, 
Koki and Altov have the favorable home starting schedule, three other first four games at home, while the other four spend a lot of time on the road early on in the schedule. For your team that's pretty young, I know you got a lot of returners, playing on the road as much as you guys will do early on, three of your first four, how do you get your kids ready to get mentally tough, to have to prepare to get on the bus and go to places like Rochester, Mascuda, and Altov to start the season? Yeah, well, we we've, we've been talking about that, and uh, you know there are some challenges. You have a little different routine when you're on the road, obviously. And uh, you know, one thing about going on the road is um, you, you get to play, I guess, kind of the underdog underdog card a little bit more, um, especially in week one, going to a great program like Rochester. So uh, I don't think we'll have a problem getting our kids ready to play. Um, and you know, you try to simulate some things in practice and and put them through some adverse situations and and deal with adversity and maybe make them, you know, do some extra conditioning for, for problems you're having to practice or whatever it is. But ultimately, um, you know, there's no, uh, I guess, there's no substitute for that game time speed and adversity and intensity. Um, so hopefully we can uh, learn quickly uh, in the first week or two and, and carry that over and, and really make that a positive for us throughout the season. Speaking of positives and and getting started and how important the first week or two are going to be, after last year and having another class coming up with a lot of success, how important is that first half to get a good start at Rochester? Well, I do. I think it's important, um, and more so just for a confidence standpoint, maybe from from uh, our older guys. Uh, as you said, we've had you know some success on the younger levels the last year or two uh, with our freshmen and our JV. Um, so I think they feel good about where we're at. Our our senior class has done a great job. Um, they're they're still a class that hasn't had a lot of success throughout their football careers, but I think every day they're gaining more confidence. Um, the, the 15 seniors that we have um, have been football players for quite a while. Um, I think they believe in what we're doing, and, and again, the younger guys are pushing them a little bit, and, and, and they're stepping up and being leaders. So I think that first, that first half and coming out and just, uh, competing well in that first half at Rochester is going to be key, and we'll start talking about that this morning with the guys. Well, and the Rams, who are certainly going to try to look good on the field, will literally look good on the field with some new uniforms this year, I noticed. I thought we looked pretty sharp, yeah. Um, our, our athletic department, it was time for some new uh, away uniforms, um, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, next year we'll, we'll match them up with some new home ones as well. But uh, kids looked good last night, and we, we talked about that too. Um, you guys look good. Um, you know, your athletic department, your school supports what you're doing. Um, our gridiron club obviously does a tremendous amount. Um, you know, I think uh, we need to come out and, and compete and, and give everything that we have each week and, and just show people that uh, we're appreciative of those things. And, and hopefully we'll uh, play as good as we look. Uh, did the coaches get new pants to wear on the sidelines? Is that, the, is that a rumor that's true or not? <laughs> No pants, no pants. Uh, I pro- my wife actually would probably be making a shopping trip uh, to get me some new new game day stuff, but it won't include pants. I'll tell you that. So now the, to just get this out of the way, since you're only doing one sport this year, does that mean you're not going to wear pants at all? Just shorts the entire year? Uh, I will wear pants uh, for our football banquet that's hopefully in, in mid to late November this year. And um, barring weddings and funerals, you will not see me in pants the rest of the year. Mount Vernon Conference riding around on the donut cart. I guarantee you it'll be shorts and a coat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. That right, wouldn't be the WMIX Saturday Sports Show without the WMIX Sports Social Media Question of the Week. And, of course, this week we want to know, I'm going to check the actual verbiage here, what was your least favorite subject in school? Uh, my least favorite. That's a tough one. I, I enjoyed school. Um, I, I liked going there and, and the social aspect and, and the classroom, too, and I knew I wanted to be a teacher early on. But I think overall my least favorite subject would have to be English. Um, it just it didn't make sense to me all the time. Um, I liked science and I liked uh, history and social studies. And obviously, you know, the, the uh, quote-unquote easy ones, the arts and the PEs, those are fun and coaches taught those. But uh, English, I just struggled with, and especially like ACT prep English, when when you're reading this really long passage, and then they just change like one comma or colon or semicolon, I'm completely clueless about that stuff. God bless the English language. That's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah. 
Coach, <laughs> obviously Friday night, 7 o'clock kickoff on the road at Rochester, three-time defending state champions. Certainly will be a great test for the Mount Vernon Rams to open their season. Can't wait to be there on Friday. We'll see you then, and I'm sure we'll talk to you a million times throughout the week. Thanks for having me, guys. Always a pleasure. That was our Saturday Sports Show interview with Mount Vernon Rams head football coach Jared Shader. We hope you've enjoyed that. We hope you've enjoyed the Landers Clinton Center's pregame show thus far. Of course, we need to take a quick break, but a quick reminder before we do. You can hear Coach Shainer's recaps and previews of every game on the Saturday Sports Show every week right here on AM 940 and online at WMIXSports.com every Saturday morning after the 8 o'clock news. That's every Saturday, AM 940, WMIXSports.com, the Saturday Sports Show. We need to take another break when we come back. Plenty more to talk about. It's the Malford and Rams opening night here on the road at Rochester in Sangamon County. We look forward to the Rams and Rockets. It's coming up here shortly on WMIX with video on WMIXSports.com. But first, that quick break. This is Rams football powered by Community Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new one checking product. The new One account is a high-interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. Have you been by Second Chance Auto lately? The selection is amazing. Their lot is full of great-looking, dependable cars, trucks, SUVs, and vans. Family-owned for the past 33 years, Second Chance Auto is the cure for summer new car fever. No one has a better selection of nice vehicles priced under $10,000. Almost all their vehicles come with a generous 3-month, 3,000-mile warranty. There are no dock fees, no shipping fees, no processing fees, and absolutely no gimmicks. Just honest deals at low prices. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. Second Chance that's auto. It's back. RLC Golf Outlet Super Demo Day on Saturday, August 31st. Major manufacturers will answer any questions about your favorite equipment, plus free balls and fittings. You can test the best golf equipment in the industry and enjoy free hot dogs and soft drinks. Plus, RLC has outrageous sales all day on the most popular names in clubs, balls, bags, and swag at Super Demo Day, Saturday, August 31st, from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. at the Red Lake College Golf Outlet off of Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Cherry Creek Driving Range is now open every day. I'm Eddie Robles, Dave Bowers. We'll look at your next ride weather. It's going to be a warm, humid night with a spotty shower with thunderstorm below about 70. Quite hot and humid tomorrow with some sunshine. Shower thunderstorm in the area into the evening, a high about 96. Late tomorrow night, partly cloudy, sticky, low 68. Sunday, hot and humid with clouds and sunshine. An afternoon thunderstorm in parts of the area, a high about 92. And then Labor Day, cooler and less humid, mostly sunny, high 84. Next ride weather from Delta View, MIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. This is Mount Vernon Rams football, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. And welcome you back to Rochester. So glad to have you with us tonight for Mount Vernon Rams football. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside tonight as the Rams battle the defending three-time 4A state champion Rochester Rockets. Here on your Landers Collision Center's pregame show, so much to preview here tonight. The Rams, of course, return some experience, but they have a lot of youth. Coming up from a 9-0 freshman team and a 7-2 JV team, the supplement of our city team that did lose a lot of seniors, but unfortunately went winless a year ago. But the past is the past, the future is now. It's over. I think what you have to do is flush 2012 out the door. 2013 is a new and bright system of future. I mean, there's a lot of expectations on the younger kids in the program right now. you got some upperclassmen that are returning, looking to do some things differently, and you hope that everything goes well in 2013. That you do. We're going to honor America here from Sangamon County. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, what to talk about is the Rams and the Rockets from WIX Sports. Friday Night Lights are back. The best in high school football content is right here at WMIX Sports. Don't miss area coaches and our panel of experts as the Saturday Sports Show revisits the region's most important games. We'll also recap the WMIXSports.com scoreboard, plus talk up other local sports. Look for the Saturday Sports Show after the 8 a.m. news on WMIX 940 and WMIXSports.com. Powered by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. 
Hi, this is Monica Wilt, Relationship Banker with People's National Bank in Mount Vernon. People's National Bank is a true community bank that specializes in offering a wide variety of products to suit a wide variety of people. We offer free checking, interest checking, certificates of deposits, home loans, business loans, online banking, mobile banking, and much more. Stop by any of our People's National Bank locations or visit us online at peoplesnationalbank.com for more information. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909, member FDIC, equal housing lender convenience and prop service is what the medicine shop pharmacy is all about pharmacy owner eric black wants you to know that his pharmacy's drive through staff will have your prescription ready in 10 or 15 minutes there are two drive through windows and a staff member is always ready to serve you with a smile another great service is our delivery we'll bring your medication to your home or office just to make your life a little easier here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner eric black what differentiates us is the level of service the level of convenience we have two drive through windows delivery here in town to business or home and those kinds of things you just cannot get and when you couple that with the connection uh, the personal connection that we feel with our customers and they feel with us really is a, uh, we really have no contest with the chains. Make the Medicine Shop Pharmacy your pharmacy of choice. They're locally owned and support the community too. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or call 618-242-8776. Watch the Rams online at WMIXSports.com, powered by Ren Lake College. Video streaming online, presented by Ren Lake College, of course, Rams football, powered by Pretty First Bank of the Heartland. We'll tell you about them throughout the broadcast, but if you're tired of big corporate banking, you have a choice in Jefferson County. Community First Bank is at home, and Dick Sino Woodlawn in Mount Vernon. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member of FDIC. Glad to have you with us in Mount Vernon Ramps tonight, opening up the 2013 season. Good evening. I'm Chris Chico. Danny Zerwinski is alongside in a kind of a different atmosphere up here in Rochester. Of course, three-time defending state champions, we've said multiple times. If you come in here tonight, a team that is ranked in Class 4A, it's certainly... Uh, a target and a bullseye on their back. Certainly a target. Three times in a row you win a state title. People can look to you not only statewide but nationally as well. And interesting thing, you know, we, you and I made a trip up to Springfield for something else in July, checked out everything before tonight. Rolled in tonight, the entire parking lot filled up, a lot of tailgating going on early in Austin, a lot of fun activities going on for all ages here at Rochester High School in the parking lot. And I think one of the interesting things to point out here, Chris, with eight and a half minutes to go before kickoff, Rochester came out to warm up. Mount Vernon has not been on the field as of yet. They first just came out of their locker room here. Interesting way to kind of go about business after a long bus trip and it's hot weather, and Mount Vernon's elected not to come out and warm up on the field. That's very interesting to think about it, and especially to take consideration the struggles from last year. But Jared Shaner and the Rams, of course, returned so much talent. Of course, a coaching staff that returns many that have been devoted to the program for years upon years, but also some new assistant coaches this year, and some head coaching experience among them. As Seth English joins the coaching staff, he, of course, had four years earlier in the millennium, of course, at Sparta. And then Troy Medvick with some coaching experience at Mascuda. Uh, joined the ranks of Nick Bradford, who's been at it for quite a while. Ron Bradford, longtime veteran. Ed Doty, uh, of course, Blake Fields, who, who is a Ram that played the 7 8 season especially. Uh, Paul Fields has been at it quite a while. Mark Goodhart has been, in a, been at it at least since I've been in high school. Uh, Ryan Gadiski, and, of course, uh, Jared Kessler and who could forget Team Chaplin and freshman coach Scott Tickner uh, to complete this coaching staff. So you have that tutelage leading this Rams team and combined with some younger talent. While it may not happen this year, you know that this Rams football program is on the rise. It, and you got set to eyes with lots of experience. I think one of the things with Seth English I'll talk about, too, is the fact that he's been a head coach. He has been in those shoes to set and call plays and be quick and fast. And for him and his experience to come in, that's important that he is a head coach at Sparta. This whole crew is a nice mix of youth and experience that's coming together and basically matches the gist of the team that's coming together with young people and, of course, veterans. Of course, we're about four and a half minutes away from the start of this one between the Rams and the Rockets. It's opening night in high school football all across the state of Illinois. We'll bring you your Central Christian Church starting lineups after the break. This is Rams football powered by Community First Bank. Fuel economy and technology couldn't be more affordable at Ford Square in Mount Vernon. You'll love the fuel economy with up to 38 miles per gallon with the 2013 Ford Focus. You can't live without the technology in the 2013 Ford Fusion. Available sync with My Ford Touch allows you to keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road while you play your favorite music, control the climate, make phone calls, and receive turn-by-turn directions. 
save up to $1,500 in customer cash or 0% financing for 36 months on the Focus Infusion. Or for a party on wheels, how about the 2013 Ford Fiesta? With up to $2,500 in customer cash, you'll find amazing savings on a Fiesta four-door ready to get you 39 miles per gallon highway. See their selection at Ford Square, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or find their inventory online at FordSquare.com. This is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Centers. It's been said that in order to grow, you have to change. Very rarely anymore do insurance companies ask the phrase to go out and get three estimates. The new phrase insurance companies are asking is, would you like to take your vehicle to one of our direct repair facilities? This is a way for your insurance company and collision repair center to help relieve the stress you may have from your unfortunate incident. And as Landers Collision Centers has adapted to this forever changing industry, we are extremely happy to announce that we are a direct repair facility for over 10 different insurance companies. It's likely that one of them is yours. From dealing with your insurance company, setting you up at the rental vehicle, lifetime warranty on repairs, and of course, Landers free, lifetime detailing for qualified customers, Landers Collision Centers literally takes the stress from your incident and turns it back into a shiny new ride for you to enjoy again. Landers is here for you whenever you need us. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. One triple eight Landers. That's one eight 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 Landers. Streaming worldwide at WMIXSports.com. This is Mount Vernon Rams football from WMIX Sports. And we welcome you back here from Rochester. The Mount Vernon Rams with the Rochester Rockets tonight here on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. This is your Landers Felicity Center's pregame show. Big or small, Landers fixes and details them all. Ask about free detailing for the life of your car next time you have collision repair done at Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem. Give them a call, 1-888-LANDERS. That's one triple eight landers Chris Hugo with Andy Zerwinski in the Ford Square WYX Mobile Studios. Mount Vernon Rams football, of course, powered again this year by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Familiar faces in different places. Community First Bank continues to expand. Bank with Ray and Bria at Community First Bank's 42nd Street location in Mount Vernon. And welcome back to Personal Banking to check out that new one checking account. That could be First Bank. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member at the IC. We're about a minute and change away, I believe, from the start of this one. And, of course, that message just continue to pour in. We'd be remiss if we did not say. Avery Barton and Quentin Lloyd are back in our mouth in the studio, keeping things on track tonight. It is the top of the hour. We need to pause for station identification. This is Rams Radio. WMIX Sports is WMIX Mount Vernon. This is Mount Vernon Rams football, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. There you go, top of the 7 o'clock hour. Kickoff looming shortly, of course, the Mount Vernon Rams will get you. Their starting lineups brought to you by Central Christian Church in just a moment. We'll have plenty of scoreboard updates tonight, powered by Tony Wilson and State Farm Insurance. And, of course, we'll say about our booster sponsors throughout the broadcast as well. You'll hear from our sponsors during commercial breaks. Without which, we would not be here tonight on the road to Rochester. The Rockets have taken the field. If you're watching online at WMIXSports.com, you'll find a scoreboard on there tonight. We'll do our best to always give you the score. Time on the clock may be a bit difficult tonight, but we will do our best. Uh, we do have visual of uh, a play clock to our right. Unfortunately, that view now obstructed. So we will do our best and have been treated very wonderfully by the administration and the hospitable staff at Rochester High School. So we appreciate that here tonight. And uh, D.C., it is football season 2013. It did not seem like it would come so quickly after the final out of Rams baseball off of that improbable day run this past year. But here we are on a Friday night in August. Well, nice and toasty. They have hot chocolate by four glasses for a dollar here in the 95-plus degree weather. A little bit cooler right now here in the football capital of the state of Illinois in Class 4 in football. And Mount Vernon will sport new uniforms, new uniforms on the road this year. Rochester and their usual uniforms that people have seen over the last two or three years in their state runs as the teams come to the center of the field, the 50-yard line most notably, to talk about coin flips and whatnot. Coin flips and whatnot, no doubt about that. As we're about to get away from Rochester on our scoreboard, you'll notice we'll say first. For first quarter, we'll not keep an active clock on our scoreboard, but you'll be able to see the score. If you watch online from any device or listen to any device, two different feeds. At WMIXSports.com, our website already has had active scoreboards each and every night since high school sports have gotten underway. Proud to offer football scores later tonight when we uh, make that long trek back home here from Rochester. They are meeting at 
midfield, of course, for the coin toss between the hashes, and we will see how it ends up. Danny mentioned the new mount for the Rams white uniform. Smaller numbers on the front, though they are black, trimmed, and orange. I believe orange around the collars and orange around the sleeves, but a nice new Nike uniforms for the Rams, and I believe new home blacks to come after. And new helmet logos as well, the new and improved Ram logo on the side of the helmets on one side, kind of a Pittsburgh Steeler-esque kind of way as we look. Rochester will receive the opening kick as they did last year at Mount Vernon. Of course, we'll get to know the Rams defense here in just a moment. Those have been brought to us, of course, up here by the Rams coaching staff, and they'll be powered by Central Christian Church. We can log on to the new Central.com to watch worship services, find ministry multimedia, and amazing messages for adults and youth alike. It's all at the new Central.com, Central Christian Church. Loving God and loving people. Of course, here in the first quarter, the Rams will start defending from left to right. Rochester will move right to left as you watch on WMIXSports.com and or look at your radio dial here on AM 940. Very proud to announce the new things will be happening on the radio side of Rams Athletics. Over the coming weeks and into the next month of six weeks, we hope. But stay tuned for that information. We'll reveal that as soon as we can. Of course, it's public information if you were to go look. But be that as it may. We're going to wait here in just a moment. All for to see on Community First Bank of the Heartland. Which is some sports. I think we had a score earlier. We'll get back to that in just a little bit. Must we have it now? Go right now. At the half, it was a 5.30 start. O'Fallon leaves Gokia in Gokia 23-6 to at the half. That game will be done by the time we get through in the first or maybe at halftime. Score World Updates powered by Tony Wilde again. Thank you, Tony. Tony is glad to help your family with all of their insurance needs. Give us off the call. Find him on the web at TonyWilde.com or look for the White State Farm Jeep around town. I believe I saw it on Broadway yesterday around the 34th Street area as I was heading to various junctures. So the Rockets will take the field. The Rams are all ready to go. On the kick is your quarterback, Dylan Reeves, the junior. Of course, little brother to... Clayton Reeves, who was the Rams starting quarterback for a couple of seasons, also a three-sport athlete at Mount Vernon High School, graduated in 2013. We're basking underway here at about 7-0-4. It's about four minutes late. Many games in Southern Illinois are still not on the air yet. Then a 7-30 start time. Back to return for the Rockets. Looks like Max Swain will be one of them, but it is going to be a squib at about the 39-yard line, recovered by Rochester. We'll have it on the far hash first and 10. So it's 7 4 o'clock is when we get underway, and here comes Rocket football. We'll see how they are this year after having lost a ton of talent from last year's state championship. Well, it's a ton of talent. A lot of new guys here on this offensive side of the football in this fast-break offense pistol set, and Rochester's ready to go. We'll try to get names as soon as we can. We're unable to get starting lives prior to the game. Robbie Kelly, the quarterback, will be out of the shotgun. Greg Berberette will be... They're running back out of the pistol. They'll send three to the left, one split to the right. It's going to be handoff. Berber right up the middle off tackle off to the right hash. Gets past the 40, up to the 45-yard line. Cuts back between the hash. At midfield, back to the 45, down to the 40. And he puts from behind, and he'll cross the 35, down to about the 33-yard line. Wow, that's going to be quite the run for Berber. Yeah, I like they started last year. Yeah, it kind of started around, jumped side to side, left to right, and was able to find some room because the Mount Vernon tacklers didn't do a very good job of shedding, shedding the blocker. They'll go shotgun, single back, set first and 10 from the Ram 33. Rolling to the right side now is the quarterback, Kelly. Throwing off to the sideline, far sideline, intended for Marshall Call out of bounds. It'll be second and 10 now here in the first quarter. Again, about 11 minutes of change left to go in your first quarter. Unable to see the clock, so we'll do our best to get that in whenever we can. Great field, great facility here in Rochester. So glad you could be here. We're glad to be here. Thanks to the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square. Check out the all-new redesigned 2013 Fusion, but you better hurry. 2014s will be here before you know it at Ford Square. Online at FordSquare.com, 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Quarterback will empty out the backfield, of course. Go out of the shotgun. Looking to his left side, able to find Berber Red in the flat. That's going to drop for an incomplete pass. It'll be third and ten. Yeah, have to have the football before you go with it. And he, I mean, that ball, you can see it in our great view here in the press box. His head was down to one end of the field, and he was looking to raise the run before the ball hit him. Incomplete, Mount Vernon, opportunity here, two downs to stop him. See if they can get a stop here. Third and ten, the ball, of course, on the ramp, 33 and a half. With about 11-15 to go in the first quarter. Score this ball game thus far. It's going to be an inside handoff. Berber at up the middle between the hashes. Pass the 30 down to about the 28. Maybe a five-yard gain depending upon the spot of the football. So now, under down, and now you'll see Rochester get up right to the huddle. No time for the defense to substitute this fast break offense. Gunter also in the backfield is a fullback here. Berberette will be 
Behind him out of the eye. Under center will be the quarterback this time. Of course, number three, Robbie Kelly, the 6'2 senior, weighs 204. It's going to be a handoff to Burbrett up the middle. Touch, tripped up. Looks like that was going to be a stop by number 32, Jacob Williamson, whom you'll hear about in the MBTHS minute coming up at the half. And the Rams will force Rochester to turn over on down at 11 2 Great stop for Mount Vernon on fourth down and inside Mount Vernon territory. Burbrett was tackled and tripped up at the line of the scrimmage in Mount Vernon. Forces their turnover, and that's a good start for Mount Vernon Rams. Of course, the Rams' offense will be led by quarterback Dylan Reeves. His wide receivers will be Xavier Tyson and Doug Gardner. Backs will be Braden Fitzgerald as a sophomore, Devontae Miller Gray, and Graham Hinkins tonight. We'll get to the line as soon as we can, but Josh Forlan, Alex Hopkins, Tyler Bradley, and Cody O'Neill on the line tonight. For Jared Shainer's mouth for the Rams. It's going to be a pass. Take it down as Reeves in the backfield. Looking for Carter at midfield. Gets him on the near sideline. All the way down to about the 30. And that is going to be a big game for the Rams on the first play from scrimmage on a completed pass from a falling Dylan Reeves. I call him Clayton a time or two. But there's Remember, Doug Gardner. On the way up, I said the chance was big early. If Mount Vernon can throw a hook early and maybe get a shot in and a knockdown to the mat of the champ, maybe Mount Vernon would get some momentum. Big play to open up. Goes on a down and out, down and out. First down, Mount Vernon. We'll see what they come with here. We'll try to get the rest of the starters in just a moment. Of course, those starters presented by Central Christian Church. Log on to the new central.com. Split to the right side, of course, will be Xavier Tyus on the left now. Will be Dr. Gardner. Your quarterback under center is Dylan Reeves. Double wing back set and somebody jump. Yeah, it's going to be probably on the Rams. Looks like it's Paul Gerd on the right side of the line. Let's see if the microphone works in this temperature. Of course, Eli Phillips, the other man on the line, the right tackle. So there was the Ram office. So that'll push the Rams back. And we'll do it again. Really First Bank of the Heartland is the official voice of Rams Athletics here from WMI Exports. Your community, your choice, your bank, with five locations and friends and neighbors on staff who understand your needs. Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Bank. You remember, FDIC. We'll have archives of our broadcast on WMIExports.com. On football, we'll do it a little differently. Video will come up after the season. Audio will go up after the game. This will be a handoff inside. Looks like that was two, I believe. Didn't get a good number on that one. My visual parts is obstructed. Thought it might have been Hinkin. 43 is who I had coming up out of the huddle. So Graham Hinkin, who got some carries last year, of course, for Jared Shader. Back at it again this year. Second and about 13 for the Rams. The ball spotted on the Rochester 34-yard line. On the road here in San Clemente County, glad to have you with us. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski. Avery Barton, Quentin Lloyd back at our mouth from the studio. Jeff Crow bringing his video wisdom back to the camera. Play right, it will be Tyus. Put to the left, it will be a false start, I believe, on the Rams. Uh, oh, or delay of game. Yeah, same from the back judge. Was Dylan Reeves the pass from the first pass? I believe it was Braden Fitzgerald, was it not? I thought it was Reeves. Maybe not. Second penalty on the ram. Unfortunately, they got to him so quick that I didn't get the best yeah. use. Kobe Marshall making his way in the yeah. booth. Hi, Jacoby. How are you? Yeah, you're good. You're good. <laughs> Don't get used to us. Take some time. About 9.04 to play in the first quarter again. I can't see the clock. Our apologies. It'll be a quick handoff. This will be to our man, Bray Fitzgerald. Where's number four on the gridiron as well, like he does on the basketball floor. And he has stopped for a loss at about the 40-yard line. Defense, that's the key for Rochester this year. they got guys on the defensive line that could probably get some all-state mentions when this season's over, and they are the strength. So now, here in the first quarter, that has reached the fever pitch for the Rams. It'll be third and 18 on their own 39. Clock at about the 9.17 mark here in quarter number one. Play clock at about 15. We'll see what the Rams come out with out of the huddle. Of course, follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. And more games get underway. Of course, we'll have more scoreboard updates for you. Split to the right. They're going to send Xavier Tyus. Three on the left side now. A couple of wingbacks. Thought about the end around. Reeves already being chased, and he is going to be sacked for a big loss. And that will be a huge sack. I am going to make an assumption that was big six, seven match away. And that is a sack for a loss of about the 40 You don't outrun Mr. Slain. Doesn't matter what you do, you will not outrun him. And unfortunately for Mount Vernon, what started out so promising has stopped very quickly. Sometimes you'll have that. As it will be on the 46, the Rams will punt. Back to return. For the Rockets, going right to left at about the 30. 
In between the hashes, I believe that's Steve Bivens. The punt will be handled by Dylan Reese. Bivens going to call for the fair catch at about the 26-yard line. We'll be first and 10 for Rochester. And now, after getting a big stop of the first possession, we'll see if the Rams can do it again. Well, and they're going to need to do that. I mean, this is big because last year, Mount Vernon didn't get a stop on Rochester until the second, third unit came in. Mount Vernon off to that good start, as are some other teams as well. Well, here in the first quarter, no score from Rochester. The Rams, the Rockets, try number two for Rochester. Again, going right to left. Ball spotted on the 20 yard own 26 yard line. We're going to be first to 10. Working out of the shotgun will be the quarterback, Robbie Kelly. Be on the right, one on the left. Looking to the left side. Ooh, a nice pass to the spot. It'll we'll be for number 15, Jerry Vivis. He crossed the 40 45, pass midfield. 45 40, 35. Off to the races to 30. 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown here in the near corner. The touch for the end zone. Wow, and it's already 6 up in Rochester yep. with no flag. Once he got in the open, it was over. There was nothing a lot of Mount Vernon could do. 75-yard touchdown pass, and Rochester scores just like that. It's 6 to nothing Rockets on the 74-yard touchdown completion from Robbie Kelly to Jeremy Bivens. Jeremy Bivens apparently is the name we need to know tonight. One after it's will be handled by Grant Fitzsimmons. The six-foot junior weighs 155. So at about the eight-minute mark of the first quarter, Rochester takes the early lead. Here's the kick. It looks like it's good. And it is. It's now 7 nothing Rockets. I'm sure we might have a water break here between scores. As I just say, just sent out a media email. Also, the Craig Anderson, head of officials, sent out an email today to allow for water breaks due to the heat. 7 0 Rochester, 8 09 to play in the first quarter. And what a big play that was. What a difference maker. Yep, and that was huge. And of course, that's one of those where you have some momentum. You get the long pass play, two penalties, running that don't go anywhere. You have to punt quick out to the flat, 20 75 yard touchdown, 7 0 Rochester. There you have it. Of course, video streaming powered by Red Lake College. Log on to RLC.edu. Apply right now and see how you can save thousands in your college education. At Brent Lake College, Ranch Football, of course, Powered Bank, pretty first bank of the heart. Going to keep it here after the touchdown, 74 yards. Well, wow. You'll have that. Yeah, you will have that. We'll try to get in the form. We'll get you some scores here in just Got a moment. As we, okay. Here we go. Carterville over Benton, 7-0 early. Carbondale had scored in their fourth play of the season against Murfreesboro. They're up 7-0. Week three opponent, Triad, already trails Mattoon, 8-0 in El Dorado. Has jumped out on SPWW 7 0. The Eagles got forced to turnover. Has the ball again deep in Red Devils territory to start that ball game. So we'll see what the Rams can do off of the kickoff. That scoreboard update powered by Tony Wilson, State Farm Insurance. More on Anthony. After the kickoff, here will come from Grant Fitzsimmons. Back to return for the Rams at about the five on the far side to Montez Miller Gray. On the near side, inside, well, outside to us, there, Ash, but inside technically is Braden Fitzgerald's sophomore. Dalian in the over end of the near side, about the 10, picked up by Fitzel, bringing it between the hashes to about the 25, stumbles into a dive at about the 28-yard line. Red Shirt, first and 10 for the Rams. So from their own 28, where we'll start this time, at about the 8.04 mark of this first quarter, where it's 7 to nothing Rockets. 7 to nothing Rockets, also Highland over DuCoin, 7 nothing early. So a lot of locals starting off a little slow here at the start 2013 in the heat. Temperature at 91 degrees right now here in the middle part of the state. We're in the shadow of the state capitol. That we are. Smoke stacks in the distance. Yep. Right off of the I double nickel. In motion, it's going to be Miller Gray. The handoff's going to come from Reeves. He has to bump back a little bit to the 20. Gets back to the 25. Brought down maybe for a no gain, maybe a gain of one. Looks like he got to about the sideline at the 29. Now, if you're going to run east and west on this field that goes north and south against this defense, you're going to have some problems. You're not going to get much, and that's what happened there for Mount Vernon. A couple of guys, including Jeremy Bivens, had that big 74-yard touchdown reception. He's on defense as well for the Rockets. For the Rams are led by junior quarterback, of course, Dylan Reeves. See what the Rams come up with here. They're going to send Tyus to the right, splitting off Doug Gardner to the left. Among the team's leading receivers last year was Doug Gardner. Back at it again, played basketball for Scott Gabber last year as well. Under center is Reeves in motion. Yeah, it looks like a couple of them took off. Surprised there's no flag on the play. Maybe a broken play. He's reasoning it up with it. Right the last few years, it's been West Lunt, Garrett Dooley, and amongst others leading the offense for Rochester. I think you can tell early the heart of this team this year in 2013, at least to begin the season until the offense gets some seasoning, is going to be their defense. Of course, they have a big game against rival SHG next week. But this, again, this defense for Rochester, extremely quick 
and especially up front can throw some people around on the line as well. Well, with less, less than seven minutes to play in the first quarter, it's seven to nothing Rochester Rams at third and eight. Ball on their own 30 yard line. Pitch in motion. It's going to be Reeves handing off inside. Not much of a gain that time. Maybe to about the 30 for a no gainer for the Ram rusher, whom I did not get a number four. I believe it was 43, Mr. Hinton. Wow, yeah, Graham Hinton gets another carry for the Rams here tonight. And that'll bring up fourth and eight with about 6.30 to play here in the first quarter. 7 0 Rockets on top. So glad to have you with us. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski, courtesy of Community First Bank. With five locations, the Malvern and Nick Sinai and Woodlock, Community First Bank, proud to be the official voice of Rams Athletics here on WMIS. Raise back to punt. Looks like it's going to be number six. Marshall Call there. Going to let it bounce at about the 40. It'll take a Ram bounce back toward the 40 to about the 41 yard line. It'll be first and ten for Rochester as we have reached the 6.05 mark of the first quarter. Still a 7 nothing ball game. And now if you're the Rams, you're hoping what happened last time with a yeah. 74-yard gain for a touchdown doesn't happen this time. Well, you, you stalled out offensively, and that was the question we talked about coming into this game with Mount Vernon being able to move the football against this stiff and staunch Rochester defense. And now Rochester on offense again. A little flip play last time got a touchdown. We'll see what happens here. Uh, out of the shotgun, single back set for Barrett with the handoff. going to come to the near side. He's at the hash, about the 45. Looking to get to midfield. It's going to take a trio of Rams to bring him down. Looks like the ball is loose. Who's going to end up with it? Looks like it's maybe a right jersey. We'll see. Well, they're letting the whistle go for a while. Yes, and, they are. I mean, that should be Mount Vernon football. It is. Yes, sir. Evans had it for a moment. He lost it. The Rams come up with it. In the area for that one, Jacob Williamson, among others, and the Rams will force another turnover well, for Rochester. First, this one is a fumble. The first him. problem that Berberette did was he went inside his blocker. His blocker was starting to turn the defender to the inside. He went in with the defender, and what a great play by the defender from Mount Vernon to get an arm out, strip that football, and then a host of white jerseys coming over. Thinking he could switch early on, at least in the first six minutes of this game, you can see a tremendous difference in the way this Mount Vernon defense swarmed the football compared to the last couple of years. So first to 10 for the Rams near midfield. They're on their own 49-yard line near hash. Split to the left side, of course, it will be Doug Gardner. It looks like Alando Watson will be split to the right. The usual suspects in the backfield as far as your backs are concerned. Handoff's going to go to, looks like, no, oh, quarterback keeper for Reeves. I bought it. No, he falls about the 40. Yeah, he probably got a first down there on the run. A little option to the right side. Was able to make a play. They're not going to give him first down yardage, but he did get nine yards off the right side. 14 nothing now. El Dorado over Setzer, Blair, Waltonville, Woodlawn. Looks like they're tied. Nashville, Carlisle. Five to six. I believe we got all kinds of earlier. stuff coming in. It's Bob. going to be that the next nine weeks. They're going to bring the chains all the way across. Drag and check. First down. Say about some of our booster sponsors. When you're looking for screen printed t shirts, hoodies, hats, or bags, seek out Winning Edge online at winningedgeusa.com. Serving Jefferson County and Southern Illinois. That's the Winning Edge. Or that's, yes, it's a noun with an article in front of it. Thanks to everybody listening in. We've gotten a lot of text, a lot of tweets saying they're listening. Thanks to everybody listening back at home, wherever you may be, or watching it at WMikesports.com. That's right. Now the video a little bit more iOS-friendly this year, so we hope you're enjoying it on your iPhone, your iPad, or whatever device you're enjoying, Mount Vernon Ranch football and fog. Red Lake College brings you the video. Of course, Red Lake College offers over 100 degree and certificate programs for thousands less. See which is right for you with full descriptions at rlc.edu. Apply online while you're there. I hear that iOS friendlier, but still wet beverages do not go well with iPhone. Wet beverages and perspiration. So I feel the wet beverage pain. Yes. So that was not my case about a week ago. Good friends at uh, our provider helped me out. You know them better than I do. Second <laughs> one. Ain't no kidding. On the Rochester 41-yard line, it'll be... Reeves and Bersenier are back for Miller Gray Hicken. It's going to be a quick pitch to the left side. Here comes Mr. Fine to see up the left side. It's first down yard. She gets inside the 40 to about the 37 yard line. Double by the official side. Double tight. Offset eye, left side. They give it to Fitz for the first down. Off that left side. Get the first down. And like that, it's five and change to go in the first. Seven to nothing. Rochester on top of the Rams. Looking to find that offensive rhythm here tonight. About nine minutes shy of the bottom of the 7 o'clock hour. So glad to have you with us. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski, Jeff Pro with the camera, Avery Barton, Quentin Lloyd back at the Malford studio. Same set, double tight now for the Rams. It'll be Reeves under center. Same person on the backfield. They're going to go pitch again. Ooh, he thought he had a seat. Bubbles the football. It's going to be picked up and tipped around. Looks like it might be Rochester football at the 40. 
little too freely, carrying it like a loaf of bread in his hand, and unfortunately for Mount Vernon, what you give it, they can take it away, and that's what happened here. What you could do worse, we can do worse better with the football. No doubt about that. Break that one out early. Brian Reynolds listening to the game on the radio. He'll be happy to know that if he goes to WMIXSports.com, he will actually be able to watch it. And yes, I am sweating, Brian. Thank you for messaging us here tonight. First play for Rochester. First shift from their own 40. It's going to be handoff in the round coming to believe. Zach Keller on the near side gets to the midfield. On a tackle out of bounds, I believe, by D. So Miller Gray comes up with the tackle there out of bounds. It'll be... Shouldn't have changed. I got the midfield. And a little different uh, look for Rochester, Chris. I think it's one of those deals where you see Rochester running the football a little bit more than last year. I know they had Garrett Dooley, but mainly their offense was a pass offense last year. Rochester, of course... Navy pants and those Navy ties with orange trim down the side, trying to get the ramp to jump off sides. And that was great work by Robbie Kelly. Just did just that. Of course, solid orange helmets for the Rockets, who play in the Central State 8 Conference. Series will end this year as the CSA will now become the CSX, if you will, the Central State 10. Not sure if there's going to be the official name change or not. The Rochester are going to get to five yards. It'll be on the 46 yard line in Rams territory, first and 10 for Kelly and the Rockets. Looking to lift off here in the first quarter, up 7 0. They burp right the hands off. It's going to be between the hashes. Gets to the 40. Down to about the 36 yard line. And that's going to be a gain of about 10. We'll see if it moves the chains again here. In the Another third. first down for Rochester. They march the chains under 4.50 to go in the first. Here Mount Vernon, you like to keep them out of the end zone and try to keep it in a touchdown deficit. Do what you can here. Always tough. The Central State 8. The South 7 has found that out in recent years. That's yes, last two years in the postseason. Detroit had a tough way to go with Jacksonville in the postseason. As Kelly, under pressure, is going to find his way out of it, put the ball in his hand. He's going to head to about the 30. Ooh, a nice little tumble there across the 30-yard line on the numbers. Yep. Down to about the 29 for getting it. Did a really good job there checking down out of his first and second option. His third option also covered on three receivers, two mid, one deep. Did a good job, tucked and pulled, and ran with the ball for five yards. Second and four for the Rockets now as we'll get below, I believe, the four-minute mark here in the quarter or near it. Kelly to pass. He's able to find his man. A partial call on the right side to Hatch. Inside the 10 yard line. He caught it about the 13. And that is going to be a completion of possibly up to 20 yards here for the Rockets in the first quarter, up something to nothing. Hope you're enjoying the new scoreboard on WMAXSports.com video. And it's going to be a handoff inside, and there's Berberet for the end zone. A nine-yard touchdown scamper for Blake Berberet, and the Rockets have a 13-0 lead. Yep, nine-yard run. Again, nothing fancy, Chris. Off-tackle football where you just say, here it is, folks. This is what we're going to do, and Rochester has done it again. Brian Reynolds, I've been correct, is watching the Cardinals and listening to us. Nothing wrong with that. So Fitzsimmons on for the point after attempt. The kick is up, and the Rams get a piece of it. It's blocked. A big block there by the Rams, I believe, initially getting the tipsies of the fingers on it was Drew Hester, the sophomore. And the Rams keep a 13 0 Rochester lead with 4.07 to play. Time out of the field. We'll take one, too. This is Rams football from WIX Sports. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Find us on Facebook. This is Rams football from WMIX Sports. And welcome back to Rochester. Glad to have you back. As they took a bit of a water break between the scores, and now it'll be Ram football. Trailing 13 to nothing with 4 0 to go in the first quarter. Not much of a water break compared to what the IHSA wanted them to do, boys. I was able to talk and get an in-depth explanation as to what the water break was consist of from a timing standpoint. Giving them about a minute to get some water down and get back out there or whatever they should have to need. They're a little thirstier. Of course, the heat policy that the IHSA put in place over the summer, now it's in effect after what has been a cool summer thus far. Well, up until about the last week and a half, the golf courses are all green and beautiful, and then uh, all of a sudden it's dried out and the golf ball goes a little farther. 
Fitzsimmons will find Fitzgerald on the kickoff. This brain will back up to about the six. Now the near hash looking to get to the 20, and he met a wall at about the 18-yard line. That wall happens to be known as number 44, Dallas Greer. Greer, a name synonymous with Rochester. It'll be first and ten for the Rams, I believe, from about their own 18-yard line. And it's go time. Mount Vernon, if you don't score, you need to put together some first towns and get out of this first quarter, only down 13 now. You need to put together a little bit of a drive here to get out of the shadow of your own goalposts. Sweaty night in Rochester. Buggy night. Last Friday night in August. Of course, you're wondering why this late start. Well, Thanksgiving is 14 weeks from, from this week. Yesterday. And that's how it works. You have to have 14 games in the season, of course. The perfect season will be 14-0 and in the IHSA season, as there was a penalty on the play that will take it. Half the distance on a hold. Well, about the nine and a half. So Mount Vernon's got four penalties right now for 22 yards. And they have not helped themselves with the yellow flag here tonight. Too many already in this game. Not something you have happened if you want to have a successful season. So it'll be Dylan Reeves to lead the team. First and ten from their own. And he's under center. Split to the left and split to the right. Looks like Gardner on the right. Handoff's going to come. Actually, Reeves is going to keep himself on an option. Gets to about the 12 for a gain of two. So it'll be second and eight for the Rams as the clock strikes the 350 mark here in the first quarter. The WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, of course, are driven by King City Chrysler. Tenth event going on until tomorrow. Check it out at King City Chrysler Center or just stop in. No appointment necessary. The expressway and fast oil changes and more. 1603 Broadway, Mount Vernon. Second and eight here for the Rams. In their new whites we told you about, black pants, a Ram decal, very nice Ram decal on the right side of the helmet. On the left, it's solid black, kind of a combination of past and future. As Reeves will be under center, split to the left side, of course. Doesn't look like Doug Gardner. On the right is going to be Tyus. The handoff will come. Oh. I did not see it. There's a pitch to the wing back. It comes left side to Montez with a great west. First down yardage and more. Shy the 30 yard line, about the 29 on the far side. We'll see where he yards and a first down. Great fake by Dylan Reeves to not only hand the football off but carry his fake out. That way it looked like he had the football and the defense drove on him. The linebackers did. That left it open for Mount Vernon to get that first down. Great run for DeMontez Miller Gray. Number 28 for the Rams. The line scurries to the line of scrimmage. It'll be Reeves, the quarterback under center. A couple of wing backs, split left, split right. Here's your Ram personnel. Ready to go in motion. It'll be Grider. The handoff's going to come inside. We'll see where it ends up. It looks tried at 30. Maybe a no-gainer. If so, it's second and 10 for the Rams. On a handoff, they didn't go anywhere to Fitzgerald. Yep, but it's okay. Time's running. You've made some progress. It's okay. You want to get something going, try to get some first downs. Rams need to make something happen here in the first quarter. They trail 13 to nothing in the first, about two and change left to go. Chris Hugo with Danny Zawinski alongside for Rams football. It is the bottom of the hour. We'll take care of that in just a moment. With Dylan Reeves, the junior under center. Rochester looking to stack. It is going to be Reeves on his left side, looking for the pass, looking for Henkin or somebody. The ball is incomplete about the 42 with the nearest man about three or four yards away, so overthrown or underthrown, depending on whom he was intending. And it'll be third and ten as the clock will stop with 156 to play here in the first. Rams down a pair of touchdowns. Tough to throw a pass and you're rolling to your left. You're rolling to your left, you're throwing almost against your body. you got to roll to your right, try to get your momentum going towards your arm. Stay tuned for the second chance auto halftime show. We'll have your Rams report. That's right. We'll talk about all the other sports going on for the Rams and Lady Rams. Also, your MBTHS Minute. We'll talk about arts and academics as well at MBTHS. You won't want to miss that coming up at the half. In motion, Miller Gray. It's going to be a quick pitch to the left side. Miller Gray finds his team. He gets to the 40-yard line, down to about the 44 where it'll be a gain of approximately 15 for D. And Miller Gray, the high yeah. is at it tonight. I'm telling you what, he has got some burst with the football when he gets through the line. One thing about it is he doesn't hesitate when he looks for his block to get to the line. He gets to it, and he turns it on in that open field. What a nice job of running there that time. This is WIX Mount Vernon and a free service from Weathers Broadcasting, bottom of the 7 o'clock hour. Ooh. 13 to nothing your score. The defending three-time 4A state champs on top here. 
With 136 to play in the first. It's first to 10. The ball on their own 44-yard line for the Rams. Put to the right side. A couple of wingbacks here. One slot on the right. It's going to be Rue. Nice little reverse there. It's going to be to 50. Find the seam on the left across midfield. Down to the 45. But about the 43-yard line where he's pushed out of bounds. That's a big run for Pitt. The feeling, watching these Mount Vernon running backs, that they run with no scaredness whatsoever. They are running hard, quick, up the line, at the line, through their blockers. Great job. I mean, this Mount Vernon team starting to win. Let's give a shout-out to the offensive line, doing a great job as well. Well, the offensive line that returns with the bulk of starting experience, Hopkins, Portland, Bradley, O'Neill. As well as Mr. Phillips, I believe, for Mount Vernon. Split right, split left. It'll be Tyus on the right, Doug Gardner on the left, same back here, and it is going to be a handoff up the middle. Is that Hicken again? If so, it was inside the far hash. Oh, that was fit. fit. No, it was Hicken. Hicken. Second number comes, finally became visible. Well, you know. So many running back weapons in the arsenal. As we're below the minute mark here in Rochester. First quarter action, 13 nothing. Rocket leads. If you want to look at community support, look no further than this community. Beautiful field house, of course, to the right. Beautiful football facility here. Committed to all athletics, from tennis to girls basketball, to boys basketball, to football. Certainly a community to model after. Reeves under center with Miller Gray in motion. Pitch to the left side. He hasn't found much. But he took a tackler at the 40. Still on his feet at the 41. Put back across the 40. Forward progress. If it were granted, it would be at the 41-yard line. We'll see where the spot is going to go as we near about the 19-second mark of this first quarter with the Rams trailing 13-0 on third down. That there will get you at least to the end of the first quarter. I would think so, with the clock at about five seconds. And they are not going to get another play off. We have reached the end of quarter number one. The Rochester Rockets 13, but now for the Rams nothing. This is Rams football powered by Community First Bank. It's back. RLC Golf Outlet Super Demo Day on Saturday, August 31st. Major manufacturers will answer any questions about your favorite equipment, plus free balls and fittings. You can test the best golf equipment in the industry and enjoy free hot dogs and soft drinks. Plus, RLC has outrageous sales all day on the most popular names in clubs, balls, bags, and swag at Super Demo Day, Saturday, August 31st, from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. at the Red Lake College Golf Outlet off of Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Cherry Creek Driving Range is now open every day. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer, member FDIC. This is Joanne Joy with Community First Bank. You're listening to the Rams on WMIX. WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Streaming video online, friendly for any device. Here's scoreboard as well. Don't forget to stay tuned for your halftime show. We'll have the Rams report talking about girls golf, girls tennis, boys soccer. If I try to name them all, I'll get in trouble. We talk about all of them. Uh, Cross country to golf, to soccer, to volleyball, of course, tennis. You name it, we talk. And, of course, talking arts and academics with the new MBTHS report as well. It's all coming up in your second chance on our halftime show after this second quarter. We will get underway here in quarter number two. The Rams trailing the Rockets 13 to nothing on the road at Rochester. In your WMIX Sports Mobile Studios driven by Ford Square. Third and seven for the Rams on the Rocket 39. It's spotted on the near hash. It's going to be a snap to Reeves, the quarterback, going to take it himself. Inside the near hash, down to about the 36-yard line. If they give it to him, it'll be a gain of three, and it'll be about fourth and four. We're not going to give them all that. It'll be about nope, fourth and nope. five. But defense starting to shut down the middle pretty good now for Rochester as Mount Vernon is trying to attack. How back to be the first bank of the heartland. Familiar face to the new places. There's no doubt about that. They continue to expand. If you haven't heard, five locations in Jefferson County. Mount Vernon Dix, Woodlawn, and Ida. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC, the Rams, at fourth and five. Going to try to draw the Rockets outside. I can't imagine they're going for it with this formation or this play. And they will burn a timeout. We'll keep it here during this timeout. Brought to you by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. Proud to sponsor the Rams once again. 
Dr. Eric Black and the staff support the local community and wish the Rams the very best. This is so the medicine shop timeout. So about 11-16 to play here in the first half. The 13-0 Rochester lead over your mouth for the Rams here tonight. Rams with this road game. A pair of road games to start the season. The Rams are looking to win their first week one game since they beat Belleville East in 2006. They beat them twice, I believe. Shut them out in 05. Beat East again in 06. And then 07 to start a long week one losing streak. Try to get some scores here in just a moment when we're ready. I'll top 10, Collinsville 6 in the first. O'Fallon over Coquia, 23 to 6 and a half. Carbondale leads Murphy at the end of one, 22 nothing. Marion and Granite City scoreless at the end of one. Mattoon leads Triad 8 to nothing in the first. Carterville over Benton, that's in the one, 7 nothing. Freeburg, Massac are tied at 7. Waterloo over Heaven, or Heron, 7 nothing into one. Highland over Duke Coyne on the, at home, 19 nothing. National and Carlisle tied at 6 into one. Setzer Valer trails El Dorado 20 to nothing in the first. More than five for the Rams for the 37. The pitch this is probably going to be some sort of trick, and it is. That's Fitz on the pass to be picked off. Picked off by the Rockets about the 20. Breaking to the outside near the sideline of the 40. Still on the field for 45 down the midfield on a hack of interception. That looks to be number 18 for the Rockets, Tyler Pizzini. And what an interception and what a run back, but it's about the same as upon it. Well, you can't try to throw in the double coverage. I mean, it's one of these deals. That, ball, that pass was not there. They had one receiver, two defenders, and a problem there. You throw in the coverage, easy pick off for Rochester as they run it back the other way. So now the Rams turn it over, trailing 13 to nothing. Still ahead of the 11-minute mark here in the first half. The ball will be on the Rams 49. As the Rockets get a fresh set of downs. Now the I formation, the quarterback Kelly will be under center. Splits to the right and a couple on the left. One in the slot. Looks like Marshall calls. It'll be a handoff over to Berberetti's at the 50. Tossed it up. Can the Rams jersey get to it? Looks like they might have. So the Rams turn it over, and then the Rockets give it right back. Two turnovers early on right now. Another score that uh, will ring our fall plans. Effingham trailing Mother Day 14-3 early. Starting to grab that. Yeah, our dad, we're starting to get a little upset there. But uncharacteristic turnover again by Rochester. Again, they have three of them already. Tony Will, glad to help your family with all their insurance needs. Give us off the call. Find them on the web at TonyWilt.com or look for the State Farm Jeep. That's the white State Farm Jeep about now. Do that. The only Rams quarterback will be uh, under center. Double wing back set for the Rams. Looks like Fitch, DeMontez, and maybe Graham Hickett. It'll be the Miller, Miller Gray in. Motion as Reeves is taking himself, trying to sweep out the left side, gets to midfield, steps to the bounce about the 48. And that will be a gain of roughly three for the Rams. Now, a couple of yards there, three yards, as you said that time, gain. Turned a little bit of nothing, made negative yardage into something. And you start seeing in this heat with about 10 to go in the first half, some of these guys that have played a lot of minutes, bending over at the waist, trying to take those helmets off, trying to get some air. It is a hot one here for sure at Rochester. 10.50 to go in the first half. It is third. Rochester on top. Rams trying to get something going in Rocket territory. The ball spotted just inside the 49, inside the near hash. Reeves under center. Double tight to the wing back set this time. Fitz is going to be in motion. Sweep up the right side. Fitz trying to get past the line and can't. Brought down for a loss at the Ram 49. Looks like the tackle might have been made by David Gunter. Side to side. If you're going side to side with this Rochester team, you're only going to have a couple of yards where you have to turn up field. If you try to go hash mark to hash mark, it's not going to work against this quick defense. If you're tired of big corporate banking, you have a choice in Jefferson County. Mini First Bank is at home. Dick Swipon, Mount Vernon, and Ina. Welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. 13-0 Rockets here. You can see the scoreboard at WIXSports.com if you watch our streaming video. Or you just heard me tell it to you on your streaming audio or live on AM 940. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Jeff Crow with us here in Sangamon County. Back in Jefferson County at the WMIX Studios. Quentin Lloyd in Avery Barton. And now we're going to have a flag on the play. It's not a delay of game. Oh, it will be on Rochester lining up in the neutral zone. First penalty on the Rockets. That's amazing to me that a guy leaning. 
A guy on the ball amazes me at all levels. How a guy can line up offside amazing to me how it happens at all levels. <laughs> Always makes it interesting. Third and nickel now for the Rams. The ball in the Rochester 46. As we have nine and change to go in the first half. 13 to nothing. Rockets on top. Rams need something to happen. Reeves is going to pass for the far sideline. It's a completed inbounds. Looks like it's out of bounds from here, but we'll see what the call is for. Oh, he's generous. Very generous. Did not see who yeah. that caught it. It might have been Graham Hicken. Generous. A little cut underneath, cut block, rolled the reeds out to the right. Ryan with a tight end, followed him across to the left side of the field. Ended up being a first down for the Rams. Inside the 40-yard line at the Rochester 38. It'll be first and 10 for the Rams. Nine and change to play in the first half. Still trailing by a pair of touchdowns. Glad to have you on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Follow us on Twitter. Find us on Facebook. Inside handoff. Looks like just a dive up the gut. That's going to be Randy make that Robert Ryder. Knew that was going to happen. Inside well, the far hash. Two names synonymous with Jefferson County Athletic. Yes. That is a gain about six. Oh, inside the far hash. Here come the Rams of Mount Vernon. 13 to nothing, your score. Rochester on south. Double stack, double tight here for the Rams. Reeves, the quarterback under center. It's going to be a handoff to Miller Gray, I think, this time. Looks like he had first down yard pushed back to near the line of scrimmage. Looks like he had a good run there. He's had some good runs with the football this evening. It's going to be third down. They'll give him four. That was a good run by Greider. Where, I, I'm telling you what, the offensive line right now for Mount Vernon starting to take over a little bit here as we go toward the second quarter. You see some guys in the Rochester defense, hands on their hips, sucking, looking for that air. Need air, need water on a hot night in Rochester. Eight minutes, probably just under the nine-minute mark now. Can't see the clock at the second quarter, and this is going to be a goal line play. Reed bounces out off of the QB sneak, and he's going to roll to the right side, gets to the sideline, pull out of bounds with first down yardage. So he bounced off of the defensive line, rolled back out to the right, got to the sideline, and got the yards needed. An first impressive down. play there. Reeves got in the mess, muck and mess, like a rugby scrum, and all of a sudden pushed off, bounced back out, came out to the right side, gained seven of first down. Rams driving here on the rock. Wearing the new white unis, white Nikes, orange around the collars, orange around the sleeves. Let's see. Looks like Drew Hester's going to get in there now. As a halfback, a couple of wingbacks in front. Off that eye, it's going to be a handoff to Hester, who's going to dive for maybe a gain of a half. Yeah, did not get much that time. And another Ram runner gets the football. For 22, Drew Hester got in on that one. Mount Vernon already this evening in this game. Seven different guys have touched the football to run it for the Rams. Seven fifty three to play in the second quarter. Thirteen nothing Rockets. Second and ten for the Rams inside the red zone at the eighteen. I left for the Rams. Tailback is going to be it doesn't matter. Play action is Reeves looking to top it off. He's gonna to have to come back to the attendance receiver that is. As that was Xavier Tyus about the five with a fall incomplete. Yep. And a great play by Reeves running for his life to get rid of that football and throw it away. And this is water break? No, that couldn't be a water break. Timeout? Let's see what it is. Timeout, Rochester. So say you wouldn't want to call a water break timeout when a, guy, when a team is driving. Oh, I they were told to avoid those during the drive, but I didn't see anything that signaled a timeout. So, timeout is presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. Proud to again sponsor the Mountain and Rams. Dr. Eric Flagg and the staff support the local community and wish the Rams the very best this season. Find them at 2339 Broadway. Don't forget about our sponsors that you hear during the commercial breaks as well. We appreciate them for bringing you Rams Athletics here on WMIX and WMIX Sports. Good job. 13 to nothing. Rockets on top here in Rochester. 7.32 to play. Rams on the road next week at the Scuda as they'll visit a Mississippi Valley team for a second consecutive year. And then welcome Triad to the home opener in week three. They do announce a pair of new guys, new teams on the schedule yes. next year. Yep, the Taylorville Tornadoes who will move to the Apollo Conference next year for week one. And then the Charleston Trojans in week two out of the Apollo Conference as well. Very good scheduling there by Doug Creel in the athletic department at Malverton Township High School. Speaking of Malverton Township High School and athletics, 
Rams report coming your way. It's the second chance on a halftime show. It's the minute report. Not the goings on in all Rams athletics this week. Also with the half, you'll hear the MBTHS minute. We'll, we will talk art and academics. Third and 10 for the Rams. Ball on the Rochester 18. Power eye set to the right. Can't see the tail back. It's going to be Hester. He's going to try to go off tackle to the right side. Got to about the 15, but not going to get much more than that. Maybe a gainer of three along that far hash. And that's going to be fourth down. And this far, where they keep going yards for it. Yep. Now you're down in into the red zone. Might as well. He's come this far. Don't turn around now. I don't see a kicker on the roster. Something that the Rams were benefited with and blessed with and the benevolence of the kicking game for so many years. Jared Shane are not happy as it looks like we're going to have to burn a timeout. Yeah, that's one of those you can't have. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at WMAX Sports. Some new matchups going on in the world this year. In week one of the high school football season. Interesting scores tonight. Timeouts brought to you by the Medicine Shop. Proud to sponsor the Rams once again. Dr. Eric Black and the staff support the local community and wish the Rams the very best this season. The best scoreboard updates are right here. Is Oh, my. Wow. A shocker going up on the Twitterverse right now. We'll get that on the broadcast here in a moment. As Rams and Rockets are talking it over in their respective huddles on their respective sidelines at about the 20-yard line. What do we got? Heron trails out, or tra- Heron trains Waterloo, 14 nothing in the second quarter. Altop leads Collinsville in the second, 17-6. Carbondale over Murphy, 22 zip in the first. Granite City now leads Mary in the second quarter, 6 nothing. of the new update. Also, it is at the end of one, Carterville over Benton, 7 nothing. Freeburg and Massacre tied at 7 in the first quarter. A.J. leads Frankfurt in the second quarter, 8-6. Highland over DuPoint, 25 nothing in the second quarter. Rams are going to go for it here. The ball on the Rocket 13. Trailing 13 to nothing with seven minutes to play here in the half. It's going to be fumbled by Reeves, and he'll be brought down for a loss. As he recovers to the 20, so a loss yeah. of seven for the Ram quarterback, and they will turn it over on down. Never got off the ground. Play was out of sorts, timing, whatnot. Just wasn't going to work. And right now, Mount Vernon opportunity goes by the boards on their third turnover. Of the evening. Of course, scoreboard updates all season long are presented by Tony Wilk, State Farm Insurance. Look for that white State Farm Jeep around town, or as always, Tony will be in his office if you see the white Jeep, anyhow, on the corner of 42nd South Water Tower in Mount Vernon. Split three to the right on the pistol. Berberette, the handoff, could go up the left side. It's from here, Berberette. Man! To the we had Garrett Dooley, or Dooley last year to look at and go, okay, I can run like that and go to Wisconsin. Okay, I'll do that. Obviously not as big and as strong. But, boy, he gets to the line quickly. We're still really injured in and summer practices at Whiskey. Stay there after. Approaching change as a quick snap. Kelly, look at this right hand. have a receiver at midfield. Oh, and I think that Stout was a little concerned about her. Excuse me. Why did Stout jump for the ball? ball? It was going to come to him. He jumped up for the football. You can see it on the wmxsports.com, he jumped for the football, no reason to jump. If he runs in stride and keeps going, he probably had the defense beat the corner guy, the undercoverage from Mount Vernon, sucked in on the slant, on the fake to the slant, and that left him open. He shouldn't have jumped for the football. So Paul couldn't come up with it, unfortunately, for the Rackets. We'll do it again. It'll be third and four, 13 nothing ball game, six and change left to go in the quarter. It's going to be a fake and a handoff. Oh, my, here comes Kelly up the middle, breaks the outside, far side by the midfield. Down to the 40, bulldozes his way down to about the 37 yard line, and that's going to be quite the game. The game, that was big. 40 yards on the keeper. Did a good job of carrying out the fake, the handoff to the running back, and then all of a sudden down they go the other way. Robbie Kelly made everybody believe it on that one, and making a believer out of the Rocket faithful here as they get into Ram territory in the second quarter at about the 15 mark. The Rockets with a 13 nothing lead, and Rochester elects to take a timeout. Mm-hmm. This timeout is presented by the Medicine Shop. We'll take one, too. This is Rams football from WMI Export.
It's back. RLC Golf Outlet Super Demo Day on Saturday, August 31st. Major manufacturers will answer any questions about your favorite equipment, plus free balls and fittings. You can test the best golf equipment in the industry and enjoy free hot dogs and soft drinks. Plus, RLC has outrageous sales all day on the most popular names in clubs, balls, bags, and swag at Super Demo Day, Saturday, August 31st from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. at the Red Lake College Golf Outlet off of Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Cherry Creek Driving Range is now open every day. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Find us on Facebook. This is Rams Football from WMIX Sports. And we welcome you back after that timeout presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. We'll tell you about the Medicine Shop here in just a moment. Snuck away for a little longer. As we'll be rocking football, first and 10 for the Rams, 37. About six minutes of change left to go in the first half. Out of the shotgun, single back. Slot receivers on each side, split left and right. It's going to be a quick completion of flat to Drew Hill. Looking to go up the left sideline. Gets a gain of about seven or eight up the sideline. As he takes it to about the 31. So maybe a gain of about six there to bring up second and four. Rochester knows how to move the football. They are no stranger to offense. Nope. They're doing a good job moving the football and doing their thing right now. 13 nothing score, and this is going to be handoff to Berber Ray. Looking to go up the left side. There's a flag on the play. Breaks the sideline. Gets to about the 15. If it stands with no penalty, it'll be a gain of about 15 yards. But the flag lies just outside the 25-yard line. This one's coming back on the holding call. Yep, about uh, 10 yards on that penalty. Second penalty of the night for the Rockets. That is the shop pharmacy proud to sponsor the Rams once again. Dr. Eric Black and the staff support the local community and wish the Rams the very best this season. Now we'll go back and Rochester will quickly reset. They don't mess around on this offense. They don't mess around at all. Now the shotgun, the quarterback Robbie Kelly. As Piper split to the right side. Couple on the slide on the right. Two on the left. Looking back, left side, good turnaround, catch by Drew Hill off the sideline, he's at the 10, cuts back to the near side at the 5, pulled down, maybe just outside the goal line at the half-yard line, and that is going to be about a 36-and-a-half-yard pass. 36 yard on the pass. Wow, man, and made some yards at the end, that was the key difference there. One word, system. Yep. Derek Leonard and the Rockets, of course, have a system, of course, the offspring of the famous Ken Leonard. And Sacred Heart. It'll be the Leonard Bowl, I believe, next week. Yep, week two. Okay. Well, under center out of the eye. It's going to go to Barbara Ray. Who else on the inside handoff? And that's going to be a one yard touchdown run. It's 19 to nothing. Rockets here in the second quarter with about 524 to go. Yikes. Yeah, they've gotten away from a little bit. And right now, Rochester running off. Well, now, and now will they go for two? I would think they would want to go for two here in this situation. I would think it would be advisable. If they lost that extra point on the block kick, see if they go with the Simmons or not. I am watching it myself on WMIXSports.com at the moment. They're going to go for two here. Which slides a quarterback. will go out of the pistol. Looking to his right side. Oh, and tips the pass. Just past Colton Piper in the end zone. And that'll fall and complete. Still stand 19 to nothing, Rochester. Here again with 524 left to play in this second quarter. Let me tell you a little, about, a little bit about the official voice of Rams Athletics Community First Bank. Your community, your choice, your bank. With five locations and friends and neighbors on staff who understand your needs. Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Member FDIC. We are neighboring the top of the hour. It's almost 8 o'clock. We'll pause for station identification. This is Rams Radio. 
Honored annually by the Illinois Broadcasters Association for Broadcast Excellence, WMIX Sports is WMIX Mount Vernon, a Withers Broadcasting Station. From Rochester, water break between the scores. As the Rams trail to the three-time defending 4A state champs, 19 to nothing. Next week, the Rams are on the road at Mascuda. We'll have that at 6.30 pregame on WMIX with video at WMIXSports.com. Of course, we'll talk with Jared Shainer and a slew of other guests, including one of Al Vernon's favorite songs, Kent Williams, tomorrow on the Saturday Sports Show. After the 8 o'clock news, same dial location, same web address, AM 940 and WMIXSports.com tomorrow. Presented by Crossroads Community Hospital. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwenski, Avery Barton, Quentin Lloyd back at the Mount Vernon studio. Jeff Crow here with us as well, manning the camera on WMIXSports.com, the official video provider for Rams football. 19 nothing. your score. Mitch Simmons on to kick off. Mitch Gerald's on to return on the far side. Far hash, pardon me, on the near side. I don't see it. It's going to be a deep boomer. Back of Fitz at about the six. Comes up the middle between the hashes. It's about the 15. Break for it. Now has one man left to beat it about midfield. Trying to come back to the near side. He's between the hashes to 30. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Brain Fitzgerald. The 94-yard kickoff return to give the Rams their first score of the year. What a play by Braden Fitzgerald. Yep. What a run. Great blocking from the Rams. It was team. right down the middle. And he goes, what, 95 yards? They're about... Whoa. Wow. Fit. That'll be a highlight for the week. Yep. WMIXSports.com. We'll do football highlights this year. Don't know why I did them last year. Be that as it may, but the Rams got it to 13. Wow. I thank that for lightning in a bottle. I'm still shocked. I mean, he came right up the middle. The water is parted. He went through, and it was a touchdown. I mean, unbelievable. Looks like this could be Alex Hopkins for the point after. I believe he's a linebacker. And all oh, linebackers. Linebacker. Oh, sideline warning. We have a sideline warning. I only thought one guy gave those. Yeah, he's a mass that count. Yeah, I don't understand. Driver of the shuttle. So we wait the point after Rams trailing nineteen to six, looking to make it nineteen seven on a ninety five yard touch or excuse me, touchdown return. As the kick is easily blocked by the Rockets, a good job by Johnny Jones, an all American name. And that'll keep it nineteen six. Five ten left to play in this first half of action. Don't forget about the second chance photo halftime show coming up. I want to thank another of our Rams booster sponsors. All stars and stitches. If you can put a logo on it, all stars and stitches can probably print it. Steve McDavid, All Stars and Stitches, just west of Benton High School. Pardon me, or call 435-5555. It's a ribeye sandwich to start to come back. Well, well, that's something Mount Vernon needed. That's one of two things. You've got to score. Second thing you need is you need to get a stop and then get the ball back, go down only a couple of touchdowns, and that would be wonderful. Wonderful indeed. Ask about the incentives on the F Series at Fort Square, the heavyweight truck champion. For many years running, Ford Square, WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, Force driven by 1501 Broadway in Mount Vernon. I understand they had a rousing success with the Driven to Give fundraising event for St. Mary's School last weekend. Mount Vernon's chance to be coming up here before you know it. As we'll see who will do the kickoff for the Rams. It was Reeves earlier. Is that who they stick with? Out there right now, I do see Grider. I see Andrew Heiner. Looks like Tyler Knudsen's out there. We're just trying to get Kinzel Rudd is out there. Dakota Harris. Graham Hinkin. Jesse Green. Who am I missing? Dylan Reeves. And Alondo Watson. Maybe Drew Hester as well. There, I think I got them all. Trying to get everybody a shout out here on WMX Sports presentation of Rams football. 19 to 6 year score, 5 to to play in the first half. Back to return is the deep man. That's Johnny Jones. Get a stop here. Go down a couple touchdowns, or better yet, get in there and get some more points. They'll be picked up by Jones. It's about the 26 yard line. Looking to cut to the left side. Breaks one tackle with the arm bar. Now, trying to get back to the line. He does. Got to the 30. Trying to break for it here at about the 35. And a saving tackle made. A trip out there by Robert Grider will keep it to about the 39-yard line. 
Thank you. Great stop by Grider. Now, Grider was the last man standing, as they say. He wasn't there. It's been all long gone. And now Mount Vernon needs to make a stop. Long second quarter here. Still five minutes to go as a flurry of scoring has happened here in the last five minutes of the game clock. It is 19-6. to six. The Rams trailing the Rochester Rockets of 4 a. Rams on the borderline every year at 5-6. and six. We have to make playoffs to worry about that. It's going to be handoff front of a Ray. It's going to be tripped up by number five by Lando Watson. Good tackle by Lost. Watson stayed low, got down, lifted the running back up. Good job. Gain of about five at the 44-yard line. Rochester going to stick out of the shotgun. Going to split one to the right, three to the left of the trips. And off Barbara Ray finds the team left side. Gets past midfield for a first down. He is brought down on the tackle by, I believe, Doug Gardner. So Gardner out of the secondary comes up to make the tackle, and that's going to be a gain of about six for a Rochester first down. It'll be first and ten in Ram territory. Under five minutes to go in this first half. The Rockets on top, 19-6. They back Tom first to do some moment. Our official voice of the Rams. This is going to be a nice hand off and a big tackle by the Rams up the left side, outside of the hash. Looks like Miller Gray got in on the tackle. That was a nice run, however, by the Rockets. I believe that was number 34, Symbol. Mel, even. As the Rockets keep it going. Second and four from the Rams, 43. This one's going to be a QB keeper. Good job on the option there by the quarterback, Kelly. Looks like he had enough to first down yards to gain a five between the hashes. Right up the gut he went. Yep. And right down the field go the chain. And the offensive line for Water for Rochester starts to take over and do some things. Mount Vernon's got it down their toes here. Don't let him score here right before half. Quarterback, shotgun, single back step. Looking to roll to the right side after a turn to his left. Looking for the intended receiver through the hands. Up the target. I know one thing. Like Trey I tell about a handful of these Rochester receivers. It's 95 degrees outside. You do not need gloves today to catch. Right. The old Tom Landry rule the Cowboys. You can wear the gloves, but the first time you drop that football, you're going to take them off. And that's what about three of them need to do here to drop passes this evening. There you go. And a hot muggy night in Sangamon County. Glad to have you with us. Chris Shuko with Jenny's or Wednesday alongside. Jeff Crow with us here. You're watching it on WMIXsports.com. Listening to it on WMIX. Up to the right side. Where are we at on the play clock? We're about at 17. Game clock at about three and some seconds. They're looking for a quick pass, quick connect. There it is. Two, number two. Wow. Through Hill. So he breaks the 35, gets it down to about the 33. Interesting. He's going to have a late hit on Mount Vernon on the quarterback. Well, then Kelly got up and need the guy in the head. They're so going to have personal foul on Mount Vernon roughing the passer. It's going to be a first down, and Kelly got up and just flat need him. But nothing was called. Interesting. That's not good. I mean, you can see his head bob. I mean, it wasn't like it was an easy tap or an excuse me. Well, the Rockets will host SHG next week. That'll be a few people here now, I would say. They travel to Taylorville down Route 29 on the 13th for week three. They'll have spring SHS on the 20th. That is a personal foul on the Rams, so it'll be first and 10. Should take it down to 15. I can't see down that way, unfortunately. No. It's going to be inside the red zone. Ball on about the 17-yard line. Put one to the right. That's Piper. They have three on the left. It is a pistol set here for the quarterback, Robbie Kelly, out of the shotgun. Tail back is Berber Maybe they'll go shotgun single back. They do. Looking for the left for a quick pass. Ooh, a nice trap there by Gibbons. Got it off the ground on a shoestring grab, but it's going to be a loss of about one. As the clock continues to roll here in the second quarter. So about 3.23 left to play in the first half. 19-6 your score. Ball on the ninth seed. Ooh, and a... Can't see at all what happened. It's that was up the left side, and right. just outside the hash. Looks like right a there. run, a couple yard run, maybe. And it, it's a tough see right now. That's for sure. Second quarter action from Rochester. You're watching it on WMIXSports.com. You'll find easy access there to the Twitter at WMIXSports, also on Facebook as well. Rams football is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to Personal Banking. And we will have a timeout for the Rams. It'll be third and ten. 
Ball on the Rams 17 with a 19-6 deficit staring the Rams in the face. With about two minutes and 53 seconds left in this first half. So we'll take a drink of water. They'll talk it over. This time out, of course, is presented by the Medicine Shop at Mount Vernon. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy Proud is sponsored by the Rams once again this year. Dr. Eric Black and his staff support the local community and wish the Rams the very best this season. Wish them the best 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. We'll get you some updated scores in just a moment. Don't forget in our halftime show, we'll talk the Rams report and the MBTHS Minute. Also give you your halftime stats. It's all coming up ahead in your second chance auto halftime show. Well, they're ready to go. Never mind. Halftime. Have to wait. Be third and ten for the Rockets. The ball will be on the 17 yard line. Marshall Crawl will be split to the right. One, or actually, he'll be on the spot with one split to the right outside. Bumble snap quick on the tail and maybe a strip. That'll be a dual effort by Grider and Williamson. Back to quarterback Kelly. Good play by Mount Vernon's defense. Active. That's one thing I noticed about Mount Vernon here early in this season. Very, very active. It's going to be a loss. And make it fourth and 21. They're going to go for it. Deep up the left sideline. Can the secondary get there to tip it away? And they were in the neighborhood on the pass and send it. It would have been a touchdown if Fox. He would have. Dove right into the end zone inside the pylon. It's hit it for Gibbons. So it looks like Miller Gray might have gotten a piece of it. Great defensive coverage front and back there. That ball was nowhere going to get thrown in that vicinity. Or get caught, I should say, was thrown there. And that way, the defense in Mount Vernon gets a hold, which is what they definitely need at this point in this game. Of course, the Rams appear to be a little tired. And if you're tired of big corporate banking, you have a choice of Jefferson County. But he first bank is at home. And Dick Sino with on him Mount Vernon. Welcome back to Personal Bank. You remember FDIC. So the Rams will start first and 10 in their own territory. The ball at the 28 yard line. Full split in. So the double wing back set in motion will be Grider. It's going to be a quick inside handoff. Looks like they found Hickton, who will get a gain of about eight along the right. far hash. Right. Get that big offensive line that's done such a good job going here, right here before half. Run them down the hill here, guys. Quite the run by Graham. Gets sauce of time for Coach Shainer last year. An effective back, of course, as a sophomore, now a junior. Had a solid night thus far. The Rams trail 19-6, to and this is going to be a QB keeper to try to pick up the first down. Diving across the 40 for a gain of about four. Well, keep the chains moving. Move right on in the half. Mount Vernon will have the ball to start the second half. That's a good quarterback keeper by the junior QB, Dylan Reeves. 19 to 6 year score. Rockets on top. About a minute 36 left to play in the first half. Rams have a long way to go, but a short time to get there is a near midfield. 42 yard line in their own territory. You can hear the cowbell. Rocket fans on their feet. Decent group of Ram fans across the field. Take it in motion. It's going to be a reverse. Two fits. We're going to go up the right side. Can he find the running room? Cut back to the near side of midfield. Dives to about Who's the 48. Mark? Ooh, they marked him short. Right foot of the referee, the side judge coming in. He is short by the length of the football. Boy, what a tough mark that was. Not a good one. Anyhow, the road mark. 56 seconds to play in the first half. 19-6 ball game. Second and one for the Rams with a great run by Fitz. And now, we'll maybe if it's going to be a jump or it's going to be lining up offside. I can see that going either way. That'll be on the Rams. Mark nice saw a foot in front of the football, which I should not have seen. Yep. Half. Like, hey, that's not a ball. That's, that's a foot. That's a foot. You got to line up, man. That's a taped up Nike. Yeah, you to push the Rams back five yards. It'll bring up second and six. About the 52nd mark of this first half. Rams are trailing 19 to six. We hope you like the scoreboard on WMIXSports.com. One of the many new features of the broadcast. We had Coach Shaner on in the pregame show. Man in motion, and it'll be reasonable to the right side. Looking to keep it himself, maybe. And he is going to be brought down shy of the 45-yard line. About the 44, Swain got it for a loss of two, I think. Yeah, that hurt. That pushed him back a little bit. Penalties again, Chris. 
you can't take those silly penalties. Those penalties are going to come back and haunt you in situations like this. Now the 25-second bar. So the play clock and the game clock will be roughly even. As it becomes third and six for the Rams, shy of midfield, trailing 19-6 on a hot night in Rochester. Next week it's a 6:33 game. The Rams travel to Missouri to take on the Indians. That used to be a week one matchup for the Rams way back when. Then they disappeared off of the schedule for a few years. They're back. Well, for a bit. Who knows? Things change. Yeah, I'd like to keep a scooter on the schedule if possible. Won't be week two. Spotted on the right hash. Ball on the 45-yard line. 32 seconds to play. They put some more time on the clock. 17 on the game clock. Going back, double tight set to the Rams. It's going to be a handoff to the halfback. Looks like it's Strider for first down yardage up that right side. He shakes down to about midfield, maybe down to the 47. Or was that Hicken? Esther and Hicken were in on that. Now, Mount Vernon with another first down, charging the football. We'll have your halftime stats coming up. We'll also have your inaugural Rams report and your very first MVTHS minute to keep you updated on all the goings on about for the South Chippewa School District 200 and more. First and 10 here for the Rams in Rocket territory. The ball will be spotted on the 47-yard line. 19-6 your score. Rockets up by a pair of touchdowns. All right, set for the Rams. It's going to be a handoff to your back man, and that is going to be up the right side, past the 45, down to about the 42. That Hester, that was Hester. Clock's got to be in single digits by now. Looks like it's 7-6. Cannot imagine they're going to get a play off. And we have reached the half. 19 to 6, Rockets on top. We'll come back and tell you about what the Rams need to do to maybe come back and take this game on the road. Also, give you the halftime stats. We will also check in with the MBTA just a minute with Tyler Barker and even your Rams report. We'll take that break. This is Rams football from WIX Sports. This is your local State Farm agent, Tony Wilt. I want to thank Mount Vernon and the surrounding area for continuing to support us over the past five years. If you have never sat down with someone to go over your insurance program, let me invite you into our office. Let us show you what working with the industry leader, represented by a local agent, can do for you. I'm located just off 42nd Street. You can reach our office 24 hours a day at 242-1421 or on the web at TonyWilt.com. Thanks again and go Rams! Have you been by Second Chance Auto lately? The selection is amazing. Their lot is full of great-looking, dependable cars, trucks, SUVs, and vans. Family-owned for the past 33 years, Second Chance Auto is the cure for summer new car fever. No one has a better selection of nice vehicles priced under $10,000. Almost all their vehicles come with a generous three-month, 3,000-mile warranty. There are no dock fees, no shipping fees, no processing fees, and absolutely no gimmicks. Just honest deals at low prices. Second Chance Auto, Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Call 244-4582. Second Chance Auto. This is Mount Vernon Rams football from WMIX Sports. The Second Chance Auto Halftime Show starts now. Get the car you want at Second Chance Auto. Second Chance has the largest selection of used vehicles priced under $10,000. No fancy sales or gimmicks, just honest deals and fake rate financing for all. Second Chance Auto in Mount Vernon. Continued proud supporter of the Mount Vernon Rams. We have reached the half in Rochester. 19-6 to is your score with the defending 4 AC state champion Rockets on top. Rams had a little offense. In fact, their long offense with special teams. I'll we'll tell you about that when we take a look at our halftime stats. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside. Jeff Crow with us on the camera here on WMIXSports.com as well as AM 940. Here on your second chance on a halftime show, plenty to discuss, including that first half of action, but we also need to discuss the other athletics going on about for the Township High School right now. From golf to tennis, from cross country to volleyball, soccer included, we will talk about it all. Tyler Barker will send it back to the studio. We'll have a check of that after the break. This is Rams Football, powered by Committee Perspective. 
complete. That's the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois with a full sports medicine clinic, state-of-the-art MRI, a spine care team that focuses on pain management, arthroscopy specialists offering total joint replacement, hand surgery, and complete rehabilitation services. Doctors Chow, Hool, Ahn, Kowalski, Freehill, and Smith stand ready to serve you today with offices in Mount Vernon and Centralia and satellite offices in Benton and Nashville. Find out more online at orthocenter-si.com. America is a nation on wheels. Everyone has at least one automobile. We use them for shopping, work, everything we do. But they can be a threat. Some accidents can't be prevented. Your professional Pekin Insurance Agency, Page Insurance on Crown View and Mount Vernon, can help protect you from a large financial loss when an accident happens. Call Page Insurance today at 242-7000 about low-cost auto insurance from Pekin Insurance. Ask them about the many money-saving discounts that are available. Depend on your hometown professionals. Pekin Insurance. Back to Mount Vernon Rams football, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Welcome back to the Second Chance Auto Halftime Show. I'm Tyler Barker with your Rams report, taking a look at the rest of the Rams and Lady Rams athletics. Rams golf lost a Tuesday dual match to Mascuda 164-184. Mount Vernon's Nick Meyer was the match medalist, shooting a 36. The Rams had a match yesterday at Salem, falling to the Wildcats 181-161. to They will tee off with Altoff on Tuesday. Rams soccer kicked off with a Metro Cup match yesterday, falling to Freeburg 3-0. Action at the Metro Cup continues today and tomorrow in Edwardsville. Lady Rams tennis opened the season with a 6-3 win over Carbondale. MV had single wins from Knox, Rainey, Jane, Cashol, Scott, and Hurst, and a doubles win from Jane and Winkler. They traveled to the Marion tourney tomorrow. Lady Rams Volleyball served up a season opening win in straight sets last night at Weber Township, winning 25-7, 25-8. They host West Frankfurt on Thursday. Listen to the game on WMIX or watch on WMIXSports.com. Lady Rams Golf opened up the season yesterday, taking third in a triangular with Altoff and Carbondale, while Cross Country's starting line will be Wednesday at the Murphy's Bro Invitational. That's your Rams report for this week, and this is Rams Football powered by Community First Bank. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, president of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer. Member FDIC. Broadcasting live from the WMIX Mobile Studios, driven by Ford Square, this is Mount Vernon Rams football. And we welcome you back, WMIX, WMIXSports.com. Here's a half in Rochester. There it was, your inaugural Rams report. A progress check on all the Rams athletics and Lady Rams athletics. To this point in the year, it was the first week for many, and of course, it's the first game of the season here in Rochester, where the Rams trailed the defending three times, I should say, defending for a state champ, Rockets, nineteen to six. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski alongside here to get you caught up on scores and stats. Your second chance on a halftime show. A little bit later on, we'll do the MVTHS minute. That's when you'll get a quick check of the arts and academics going on in District Two Hundred One today. Don't forget, get the car you want at Second Chance Auto. Second Chance has the largest selection of used vehicles priced at ten thousand dollars in one location. No fancy sales or gimmicks. Just honest deals and bank rate financing for all. Second chance auto in Mount Vernon. Continued proud supporter of the Mount Vernon Rams. Looks like we have scores up first. I'll take whatever you want to yeah, give me, though. Let's go scores first. We'll talk about the South 7 first and teams that Mount Vernon is playing in the future. Altoff over Collinsville near the half, 17 6. O'Fallon beats Tokyo tonight, 40 12. Carbondale over Murphy in the half, 29 0. End of one, Salem leads to Trey at 6 0. At the half, Granite City at home leads Marion 12-6. Mount Carmel, week nine opponent for the Rams, leads Harrisburg at home at the end of one, 14-6. River to River team, Carterville over Benton, 15-7, covering that much publicized 40-point spread, not doing it, as in dot-coms around the world. Massac County over Freeburg at the half, 13-2. A.J. leads Frankfurt near the end of the first half, 29-12. Waterloo over Heron, 14-3 at the half. Highland over Ducoin, 38 nothing at the half. Carlisle leads West Frankfurt at the half, or Nashville, 18-14. Red Bud and Pinckneyville surprisingly scoreless at the half. In the Black Diamond, Chester over Hamco, 38-6 at the half. Fairfield over CZR, 16-0 at the half. El Dorado over the Red Devils of SVWW, 28-0 at the half. And Carmi over El Dorado Trico, 33-0. That is at the half. There you go. That's a look at your scoreboard here at the halftime in Rochester, where it's 19-6 Rockets. 
Brought to you by Tony Wilkes, State Farm Insurance. For all of your insurance and financial service needs, see Tony in his office. Give him a call or find him on the web at TonyWilkes.com or do what I do. I look for that mobile business card, the White State Farm Jeep around town. Stats now, or do you want to go to BTHS minutes in? I got stats right now for you. There so we go. Stats basically, first towns, Rochester 10 to 8. Turnovers, Mount Burnett 3, Rochester had 4. Penalties, a sloppy first half for both teams. 6 for the Rams for 42 yards, 2 for the Rockets for 15. Rushing went to Rochester, 127 to 88. Passing also to Rochester, 135 to 49. So your total yardage in this game, Rochester 262. Mount Vernon 137 gives you a halftime score of Rochester 19, Mount Vernon 6. There you go, those stats. Here on your second chance auto halftime show, what we're going to do is in just a moment we'll introduce to you the MVTHS minute. Now, this is in the scores report. We're not talking football or basketball or baseball or softball or golf or wrestling. Of course, we'll talk about wrestling, of course, and our ranch reports coming up in the winter. But this MVTHS minute, of course, we'll be talking about academics, arts, anything that when we work with the, the administrators of Malvern Township High School, they tell us of what they feel should be showcased. It may not be getting a lot of publicity. And so this is another brainchild of D.C. to my right, of course, I'm Chris Hugo with Jeff Crow here as well in Rochester. Avery Barton, Quentin Lloyd, back in Malvern Studio. We're going to take a break, introduce you to the Malvern Township High School Minute, and when we come back, we'll tell you what the Rams need to do in the second half to maybe steal this one away on the road at Rochester. It's 19-9 Rockets here at the half. We'll take a break and come back to the MBTHS Minute. This is Ranch Football from WMIX Sports. High school sports are back, and your source for scores is WMIXSports.com. Also, find archived local sports broadcasts, video highlights, national sports headlines, and more right at your fingertips. Listen and watch live WMIX sports broadcasts from your desktop or any mobile device. Need a score? Want to see a sick dunk? Miss a game? Didn't get up in time for the Saturday sports show? That's right. It's all at WMIXSports.com. Another free service from Winners Broadcasting. WMIXSports.com. At Banterra, we understand that banking is a relationship. It's a friendly face that knows your name, understands your needs, supports your goals. Banterra offers a complete range of personal and business banking products with competitive rates and loans that range from small projects to multi-million dollar opportunities. We offer conveniences such as online banking, mobile banking, and direct deposit. For a strong community, Bank with exceptional customer service. Vanterra is a smart choice for your banking needs. Vanterra Bank, a proud supporter of Southern Illinois High School Sports. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Here's a look at your very first MVTHS Minute. I'm Tyler Barker for WMIX Sports. School is freshly underway at Mount Vernon Township High School, but Project Lead the Way is already off to a fast start. Project Lead the Way is a learning curriculum of rigorous and innovative science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education used in middle schools and high schools across the nation. Engineering students James Campisi and Rams footballer Jacob Williamson hold engineering positions at National Railway in Mount Vernon. They design parts and then oversee their production. Through the Cooperative Education Program, Campisi and Williamson both attend classes in the morning and then work part-time for National Railway in the afternoon. That's your very first MVTHS Minute, where WMIX Sports explores the best in arts and academics at Mount Vernon High School. Stay tuned for next week's installment. We'll take a quick break on your Second Chance Auto Halftime Show. This is Rams Football from WMIX Sports. I'm Eddie Robles, Dave Bowers. Look at your next ride weather. It's going to be a warm, humid night with a spotty shower with thunderstorm low about 70. Quite hot and humid tomorrow with some sunshine. Shower with thunderstorm in the area into the evening, a high about 96. Late tomorrow night, partly cloudy, sticky, low 68. Sunday, hot and humid with clouds and sunshine. An afternoon thunderstorm in parts of the area, high about 92. And then Labor Day, cooler and less humid, mostly sunny, high 84. Next ride weather from WMIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. Broadcasting live from the WMIX mobile studios, driven by King City Chrysler, this is Mount Vernon Rams football. And we welcome you back, WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Chris Hugo with Danny Jawinski alongside here at the half. As the Malvern Rams and Rochester Rockets, well, have a 19-6 to score in front of us here at halftime. Rockets are pretty well, you don't want to say dominated on all sides of the ball here on a chilly night in Rochester. <laughs> we wish anyway. Yeah. But on a hot, muggy night, a 19-6 to score. It's been the Rams' offense that has tried, tried, tried if they will, but it took the special teams to go on the scoreboard well, with a 95-yard return. I pray for sure. Mount Vernon has moved the football, but it's been moving between the 20s. And I thought during the first half, two things that stood out to me from last year, this year's version of Rams, was number one, the offensive line. 
when they can get after it, they can move some people around. They are trying to move some people around here. They're probably all state quality in three or four positions up front for Rochester. Doing a very good job. Just not going to see that quality week in and week out on Mount Vernon's schedule. Two, for me, is the defense. I think the defense does a much better job this year already so far. Crowding the football, getting after the football. When one guy, there's lots of white shirts when somebody gets the football. I think Mount Vernon's done a very good job. Now, the key at the half, you've already accomplished more than what you did last year. Last year at this time, it was running clock on the way. You're down two touchdowns. I think in the locker room now for Mount Vernon, what Jared Shaner and staff have to point out to them is, okay, guys, we drove all the way up here. Do you want to be happy? Two touchdowns, depth to the half, and be happy and get beat, blown out second half? Or do you want to come out and get greedy and try to take over this last 24 minutes and maybe try to slow an upset here and sneak out here with a victory? That's something that this coaching staff needs to get to these guys on this hot, tired night. On well, a hot, tired night indeed. And, of course, we have about two minutes to go in the halftime break and then another three minutes on the extended halftime, it appears, of Rochester. As some of the Rockets make their way back on the field. And we took a look at your scores a moment ago. We will remind you this is your second chance auto halftime show. Where, of course, at Second Chance, you'll find the largest selection of used vehicles priced at $10,000 in one location. No fancy sales or gimmicks. Just honest deals and bank rates financing for all. Second Chance Auto Mount Vernon. Continued proud supporters of the Mount Vernon Rams. So glad you could be with us tonight. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwensky alongside Jeff Pro with us, bringing you the video footage at WMIXSports.com. We'll try to get you some highlights this week. We'll get you a video archive after the season. We're not going to post our video archives after each game as we would typically for basketball. But uh, we will post our video after the season and give you an audio archive up until that point. So we'll have that up on Tuesday after the Labor Day holiday as well. We hope you appreciate that and understand why we would do that. Uh, to try to help out Rams Athletics the best that we can. And of course, it's going to be a busy season, a tough season for the Mount for the Rams in terms of strength of schedule. Traveling to Mascouda next week. It'll be a 6.30 pregame all season long here on WMIX. Week 3, they have their home opener against the Triad Knights. Week 4, they travel to London One University to take on the Alsop Crusaders, the two-way runners-up from a year ago. And then in Week 5, it'll be back home against the Marion Wildcats. Week 6 is back home against the Carbondale Terriers. Week 7 is on the road at the Cahokia Comanches. Week 8 is on the road at Centralia at Everest Field, where they've been given up a one-year reprieve on, on their facility. So they'll be able to use all of them. Week 9, welcome to Mount Carmel Gold Maces. <laughs> yeah. Hemingway. Hemingway. Like. I've been referred to as Hemingway. Nice. The old man in the sea, I guess. No Tennessee Williams ha- cat on the hot tin roof. No, like not at all. I'd hate to be a cat on the roof here. Wow. Hot night in Rochester now, right now. No oh, kidding. 19-6 to 6 is your score at the break here on the Halftime Show. Brought to you by Second Chance Huddle. Rams Athletics, as always, is presented by Community First Bank of the Heartland. While your video stream and your audio streaming are presented by Red Lake College, log on to rlc.edu and see how you can save thousands of dollars on your collegiate education. Tell you about more of our sponsors in the second half here coming up. It is the bottom of the hour here in Rochester. We need to pause for station identification. This is Rams Radio. On your desktop or mobile device at WMIXSports.com. Your radio home for the Mount Vernon Rams is WMIX Mount Vernon. A free service from Withers Broadcasting. And there you have it. Chris Hugo with Danny Zerwinski. Jeff Crow with us. Quentin Lloyd back in the studio. I assume Avery Barton's still there. Glad to have you with us. Hope you're enjoying the new scoreboard on WMIXSports.com. We've made some... Well, we've tinkered with the video somewhat in the offseason. They will come out and warm up for a few minutes here. Get some conditioning in, and it is a hot night in Rochester. We certainly know that about that. It's muggy, and we'll see if that plays into the conditioning of both teams here in the second half. I don't care who you are. You're going to play in a conditioning night. Two well-physiqued and trained people like you and I are, it's bothering us there tonight. <laughs> you more than me. You off that golf course, my friend. I know. I've been sultry so I have walked that golf course all the way through in the last couple of weeks. It's been a lot different on that golf course. I would totally agree to that. Interesting stuff. Fairfield over at CZR 24 nothing nearing or in the third quarter. You know, Granite City leading Marion 12 6. Matt Toon leads Triad 22 21 at the half. That's an interesting score for week three. Haven't heard anything on Mascuda. Still waiting on that. They may be the wait for the heat to get over with. So, 
Interesting, interesting. I've never known Duke Coin to get beat 38 nothing to start a year. That's the first. Highland, of course, well talented in a 5A level. They have got some kids. That team looks like a team that could make a deep run in Class 5A. And then you got the South 7 Conference tonight. Marion's getting beat. Now Vernon's getting beat. The Trey is getting beat. Uh, Altoff leads Collinsville. Cokia got beat. And then you got Carbondale, who's shelling Jackson County rivals Fairfield on the road 29 nothing. So, I mean, interesting South 7 scores tonight. Interesting Black Diamond blowouts. I mean, all the four games tonight are lopsided, as they sometimes are in that conference during the year. And then the River to River, some close games, exception to that two point high. I'm impressed. Carlisle National, 18 14 and a half with Carlisle leading. That tells me how good Carlisle is right now. Nashville may be a year away as far as youth goes for the Hornets. Well, yeah, I mean, a name that you continue to hear out of Washington County is Royce Newman, the freshman from last year who was excelled on the basketball floor and many hoping to make a, a fuller name of himself as a sophomore this year on the gridiron. So maybe Tim Coon's Hornets are just a year away, but still like what they have coming up there in Washington County. And you take a look at some of the other teams in the region that maybe a year away. Mount Carmel's team is actually drawing some love in the, in the 3A state rankings from the Associated Press. Uh, Rochester back at the state rankings in Class 4A by the AP. Sacred Heart Griffin, of course, is back at the 5A rankings. We take a look at Rochester. They kind of have that label, three-time defending state champions, Danny, that in the sense of to be the man, you've got to beat the man. And they're the man until somebody knocks them off. They're still the man until somebody beats them right now. It's a different Rochester team. I mean, you know, I've watched the Rochester team the last three years, much like everybody else has, and it's not that same pop, if you know what I mean, that same bang, quick hit you. I think the offense at this stage with the youth they return and not a lot of experience is kind of a step behind what they have been the last three years. And I think as the season goes on, they're going to have to season quickly. Obviously, next week with SHG coming across to Angleman County, they're going to have to get after quickly, but season it up a little bit. I think their offense is step behind, but their defense is pretty nice right now. Nice indeed. And we're about to start the second half. We brought to you by Community First Bank. Your community, your choice, your bank. With five locations and friends and neighbors on staff who understand your needs, Community First Bank keeps it simple. Welcome back to Personal Bank. You. Remember, Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. 19-6 to 6 as we start the third quarter from Rochester. We're going to be Rams football to open it up. We'll put a fresh 12 on the clock. The Simmons to kick. It'll be the Sterles, the deep man on the right side at about the 15th. Kick is going to come in over end to the left. And that will bounce. I'm assuming out of bounds. Yep. Can't see it. Out of bounds. Penalty Rochester. The five yards. Mount Vernon will get to start this on the 30. Actually, 40. Sorry about that. Not the NFL. So it'll be first and 10 for the Rams who need a score here. Trailing 19 to 6 when we open up the second half. Oh, we can hear the officials over the. Mm, my card. Over Dufault, 32-14 at the half. They can score some points, did last year, but can they can they take care of things defensively? They got uh, a bit in a run last year in week two. Well, that's a Dufault team with a new head coach after some recent struggles. Tim Nelson, who took all Marquette to the playoffs multiple times. We've well, coached under uh, Rick Johns at yep. Park and Calhoun when they made their state title runs. Better played for one or the other. Those will kick from the 35-yard line. Two coin down 44 nothing. They've given 479 yards total offense in that game. Fitzsimmons wears number 31 for the Rockets. They lead 19 to 6 as we start this second half. The Bears will possibly have a first to 10 if they don't score again. This one's not going to be kicked to Fitzgerald, so I don't know why you would. Is this one? They will let it bounce out of bounds again as it crosses out. It's about the 24 on the far side. This is what gives coaches gray hairs when kickers do silly things like this. You want to grab that kicker and just say, dude, you've got all these yards to kick this sucker in. Let's go. Oh, five back, five more. We'll do it again. And why, you know, you had two kicks, three kicks to start the second half in the betting pool, you win. Report to the press box. As Cal Rochester will kick from their own 30. And they... They've tried to angle a kick. They've tried to pooch kick. They both went out of bounds. Get that Pro V out there and see if you can stick it in this deep Bermuda or deep, deep grass out here. Actually, Kentucky bluegrass. 
Beautiful. Open so, rough. Wouldn't want to have it hit a golf ball out of it, though. So. Nice track appears to be eight lanes. They did it right. It's going to be off of the ground. It's going to bounce up. Go back to the 30 on the hop. It'll be DeMontez for Gray. Go try to get to the far sideline. Makes a cut inside the far hash. Doesn't quite get back to the 40, but about the 38 where the Rams will take it first and 10. With 11.52 to play in this third quarter, 19-6 your score. The Rockets with the lead. This is an opportunity with the field position for Mount Vernon to really dominate, to take the ball down the field and score. If you get a touchdown here, get some points, how sweet would that be heading in his second half as you march along? Don't turn it over. Here's the Rams are able to come up with here. First man to the line, of course, would be the center, Tyler Bradley. Have a wing back off the left, this double wing back set, double tight for the Rams. Reeves, the quarterback under center, looks like Hinton is your tailback. Near side will be Fitzgerald's in motion. So, nice. Nice. It'll be Miller Gray. What they call that. <laughs> Hand off in the middle. Devon says it's to about the 44 yard done. line. I mean, just a nice. Mount Vernon runners do a good job not only carrying out fakes when they don't have the football, because sometimes you can be selfish and say, nah, I'm not working that hard. But they do a good job of doing that, and that throws that defense completely off. So, cuts it in half, second and five for the Rams at the 44 yard line. Between the hashes is where the spot is. There you go, Xavier Sias splits to the left, splits to the right. It will be Doug Gardner. Double wing backs. It'll be off to the left with Fitz in motion. It's going to be a sweep to Fitz up the right side. Gets to the 45. Managed to stay on his feet for a moment as he stumbles to about 47. It's a bevy of backs, and I think that's the important thing is this Malvern team has so many options at running back, guys won't get tired. You'll keep running in fresh legs out there throughout this season. I think Jared Shaner's got some options with sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Addition, it's been a strength of the Rams since Jared Shaner's rival in the King City back in 2011. Well, that conditioning pay off on a hot night in Rochester. Third and two from their own 47-yard line, 19-6 to six Rockets. Ten minutes to play in the third quarter. Reeves, the quarterback under center, fits in motion. The handoff on the sweep of the right side, fits and stops back behind the 45-yard line. A loss of three, over up fourth and five. I'll tell you what, Rochester's defensive line got down and lower under the offensive line from Mount Vernon and pushed them back. All right, defense there by the, I say, Rochester on the defensive line pushed Mount Vernon back. There you go. Fourth and four as the quarterback, Dylan Reeves, looks to be in a punt formation. You never know. He will stand at about the 31-yard line. We'll see what they're going to do. And it's going to be a snap to fit. There's a flag on the play, a quick throw. It did it for Jack Gardner, almost picked off. Surprise double coverage there from the deep man coming back to save you. Yeah, deep man coming back, covered up very nicely. Good and Mount Vernon will turn it over. There was a flag on the play, and I thought it was going to be against the Rams, though I did not see the penalty. Let's see what we have here. As a legal formation on Mount Vernon, that, of course, declined that penalty. Mount Vernon will be allowed for the opportunity to punt, I would think. Nine. Actually, turn it over on down, I should say. Nice. Nine minutes, 47 seconds left. Here in the third quarter on the turnover on downs. It's 19-6, to six, Rochester on top. Opening things up at home this year. They will welcome SHG next week. Yeah, that 50 50 pool will be pretty big here that night. I would hope so. Wow. Uh, okay. uh, Piper split to the right side. Gibbons is on the left. With a man call in the slot. Kelly looking to the right side of the pass. That's Piper wide open at the 20. He can't come up with it. Fits in on the play, but I think it was more of a stumble by Piper. The club off. Driving me bonkers. Here's an interesting score for next week. Kind of surprising. Mosquito only up on Central, Bree Central, 10 nothing at the half. That's an interesting little nugget. Kind of the feeling on Central was maybe not the Central of years past, but still be Central. Yeah, but Mosquito's gotten a lot of ink. So we keep hearing is it's going to be an inside handoff to Barbara Ray. He doesn't quite get to the 45-yard line. Enough at about the 44, maybe for a loss of a yard to bring up third and 11. Well, that was good defense. Herberay thought he had more time, a good pursuit from the backside by the Rams' defense. 
9.22 to play here in the third quarter. 19 to 6. Rochester on top. Piper on the right in the left slot this time calls. Put to the left will be. I believe that's Bivens. And the shotgun for Murray. He's not going to get the handoff to tip pass. A good job there by the Rams to tip it up. In the vicinity, I believe I saw Jacob Williamson along with Cody O'Neill and Trevor Schubert. And Rochester will have to punt. But stop on Albert. Again, you sit here and you watch this. There's still nine-plus minutes left in this third quarter. And Mount Vernon's hanging around. They're not going anywhere right now. Oh, here comes the punt formation. Back to return. It's Doug Gardner. Is he going to try to pick it up off the hop? He will. At about the 10. And he could have pretty well gone multiple ways with that. It wasn't going to bounce anywhere, and so he decided to pick it up to even get a couple yards out of it at least instead of it bouncing further, and that's fine. He had to catch that one because it was outside the 10-yard line, as the punt returners are instructed to do. Made the catch, did fumble it, got it down a little bit, done. So now Mount Vernon is a little deeper in their own territory, going to have to go a longer way now if they want to get a score here. Oh, the Rams will huddle on about the five. First man to break, of course, is Mr. Tyler Bradley, the center, 6'3", 230, the senior. Back for another year. Reeves will be the quarterback under Bradley. Double wing back set. They'll split the ends. Tyus on the left will be Doug Gardner to the right. Reeves under center, the line ready to go. Fitz in motion. It's going to be an instant. No, it's not. It's going to be a quick pitch to the out. As Fitz will come around, maybe gain a yard of the play. It's a little bit of a delay there from the quarterback on the option. Yep, good job by Reeves. Late pitch going to the wide side of the field that time. I'm trying to stretch the defense that a little bit. Nice yardy, just two yards. But again, move the chat, move that yard, move the clock. Eek. How like good is it for our friends? Uh, no, our friends to the north that we like to attend playoff games that know it is uh, not. Modern day is down is up on Effingham twenty eight to nine. As we kid and Jess, we like going to Effingham for playoff games on a Friday night. Yes, we do. We'll see if that happens in the future. Reeves at her center there, split left and right. It's going to be a handoff coming up to off tackle. It looks like off yeah. that far hash out of my visual range. Back dies that time by yeah by Mount Vernon. If there's any doubt, Carbondale's at 36 nothing. Maybe somebody was right last week. I don't want to admit it to him, but I think somebody might be right. Oh wow! Yeah, you're right. Seven. Yeah. Well, he can be right since he helped us out today. 7 right. to play in the third. 19-6, to six, Rockets on top. It'll be third and five for the Rams. Ball on their own 18. Reeves at their center with a man in motion, and there was the point, even no flag. That man in motion has to the left slot. It's Miller Gray. And off will come inside, not going anywhere. Well, got a yard, and that was it. Nothing up the middle for Mount Vernon at all. Reeves took it himself and didn't get anything. That'll bring up fourth and about five or six for the Rams. As we drop below the 720 mark here in the third quarter. Ranch football is powered by Community First Bank with five locations of Alfred and Dixon and football. Community First Bank proud to be the official police of Rams Athletics. Welcome back to Personal Bank. You've never had to see about one checking account. There's some amazement and astonishment to the benefits of that. Reeves back to plus. Had to go with a high arc. A lot of hang time here and not much depth. The opening of Rochester bounced back from about 45 to the 43. Where it'll be down by Jacob Williamson. And it'll be first and ten for the Rockets. In well, that territory. You give them the short field now, Chris, and that's the problem. Because now you know they're licking their chops, and this might be a drive here that could really not pay dividends for Mount Vernon if Rochester marks it down and scores on this short field. 19 6 your score. Rockets on top. You're watching at WMIXSports.com. You see the aforementioned scoreboard. Finally added that this year. Added the Rams report at the half. Added the MVTHS minute at the half. It'll be the pistol. The quarterback, Kelly, with Barbara Ray behind. Looking for the quick connect to call the backfield. Looking to go up the left side. He gets it in the first down yardage. Past the 30 down to about the 27-yard line. That'll be a gain of about 16. That's the first first down of the half for either team, and there's still six minutes to go in the third. Ooh, triangle. 6-6. Six, six. At the half. So that's just kind of a sloppy game. Well, hot rivals, I would imagine. Swampy night in Marion County. 
Hopefully you pick that reference up. Of course, Marion County, named after the Swamp Fox, Francis Marion. That's your history lesson for the night. First and ten for the Rockets. They lead 19-6. to six. The ball, of course, on the Ram 27. Threatening already in the second half. 6.44 to play in the quarter. Burberry, the handoff, goes right up the gut. It's about halfway to the first down. So possibly a gain of five, depending upon the spot of the football. It'll be second down. Big time. Out of the pistol formation, and the whistle blow the play dead before it gets off the ground. We have a timeout, Mount Vernon. So a timeout for the Rams. will be presented by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy. Proud to sponsor the Rams once again in 2013 and 14. Dr. Eric Black and staff support the local community. They wish the Rams the very best this season, the Rams and the Lady Rams. As they'll take you through the timeouts, the basketball, and baseball and softball as well. Of course, it'll be a visit to the mound slash circle when that comes around. Any other updates? Uh, 29-12, Frankfurt, AJ, up on Frankfurt at the half. Highland up 44 nothing on DuCoin. Pinckneyville and Red, but they're tied at 6 in the third quarter. A shocker. A lot of people thought Pinckneyville would come out and dominate that one. Fairfield over CZR, 31 nothing. Chester over Hemco, 38-6. Carmi over LEP, 47-0 at the half. And Mascuda leads Central, 10 nothing. In the third at the half. So interesting scores on this hot evening. Fairfield now at 31 6. Score updates are presented by Tony Wilt, State Farm Insurance. For all of your insurance financial service needs, find Tony at his office, give him a call, look for him on the web at tonywilt.com, or look for the white State Farm Jeep around town. Tony Wilt and State Farm, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Awesome. Always take care, care, of, care of us, boys. Oh, yeah, he's a friend of many. Kelly, the quarterback, looks to complete in the flat. That looks like that is going to be number two. Drew Hill coming up the near sideline. Pushed out of bounds. Ah, about the 12 or 13. Thank you, my man. Thank you. No kidding. They are awesome. Phenomenal athletic director up here in Rochester. Used to be the famed coach of the Paint Lady Panthers. Now coaches girls basketball up here as well in his AD duties. Burberry, the inside hand off. Going to get you about the 10. Hard running by Burberry that time. Very impressive. Pushed there about an eight yard game? Yeah. About an eight. It was on the first down, so it'll be second and short. And off to Burberry again. He's shy of the end zone. On a touchdown saving tackle by, I think, Andrew Reiner. Sorry, I took a water time out of my own. We'll see what happens here. Got to the one, and then Burberry was tackled, as you mentioned, and now we'll see what the penalty is for the referee. Oh, ooh, that's not good. Yeah, you decline that, you'll move on. So legal substitution on the defense. I'm sure you probably did not hear that. Over the airwaves, you heard it on WMIXSports.com with our video stream, however. And this is going to be another inside handoff. Burberry found his team right up the gut. Defense parted. And it's going to be 25 to 6 Rockets here in the third. A one yard run for Burberry, his third of the night. As Rochester extends the lead now. Here with 5.43 to go in the third quarter. So they were going to go for Sue, and it. There's a pass that's in the left corner for Bivens. It falls incomplete. So it'll remain 25-6 to six here in the third quarter. 5.43 to play in the quarter. And the Rockets, you don't want to say reloaded because it's tough to win one state championship, let alone you know, three in a row. But you have to remember, and a team that's even average in the CSA, it's going to be pretty salty. Yeah, and, that, and that's the thing, you know, you look at it as a kick. So we've had four missed extra points tonight give or take on the two-point conversions as well, obviously. But just not very good special teams here by anybody in this game. Yep, it is warm. This press box is a sauna. Of course, when you're looking for screen-printed T-shirts, hoodies, hats, or bags, 
Seek out Winning Edge online at winningedgeusa.com. Serving Jefferson County and Southern Illinois. That's Winning Edge in Australia. Marion has Harrison. jumped out on top 13-12 to 12 in the third quarter. Wow. Playing at Granite. Yep. Playing up at Granite City. That's a, that's a big game for them. Glenwood leads Taylorville. Mount Vernon's opponent next year, week one, 20 nothing in the third. That would be Chad and Glenwood. Harrisburg trailing Mount Carmel, 26-12 to 12 in the third. Wow. Of course, the Rochester Rockets are playing the Central State A Conference. It'll span to 10 teams next year. I believe you should be in the Corn Belt once yeah. upon a time. Long a time ago. That's also a very good football conference. 25-6 your score. Well, Rochester. this is man up time for Mount Vernon. You're down 19. Man up and see what you can do here. They're going to get kick off toward Fitz on that far side. He's at the 10, down the 15 to the 20, along the far hash. Looking to make some hay again. He's at the 40. He's going to have a man left to beat him at field. Looking to cut back to your side of the hash. Hey, it's still on his feet at the 40, down to the 35, 30. Breaks the tackle to the 25. He's at the 20, the 15. Brought down finally in the outside of the near hash at about the 12. What an improvement in special teams. The wedge was set. A field Rochester off to the Mount Vernon side of the field. Fitz had to get away from the kicker and two defenders who had gotten back at about midfield, made a cut back, switched the ball right hand to left hand, and got down to the Rochester 14-yard line. And Braden Fitzgerald's again in the middle of everything for Mount Vernon on special teams. What, about a 76-yard yep. run? We're starting to run out of gas a little bit toward the end. He's <laughs> played a lot of minutes here tonight. It's remarkable he was able to stay on his feet that long. I was amazed. The condition, the shape he's in. Well, there comes a point where you have to be careful as a broadcaster because you want to start watching and stop calling. Double sight. Here's for the Rams. It'll be a handoff to Fitz. Going on tackle up the right. Got inside the hash on the near side. About two yards. Let's say he got to about the 12. Which is where I thought he was initially. You know, pound the ground a little bit here. Wear them down a little bit. Get, to, get a touchdown. And get back into this one. Show them you're not just going to roll over. Video streaming on WMAXSports.com is powered by Red Lake College, where they can save you thousands on your college education. See how and apply online at rlc.edu. Center. Tyler Bradley, the first man to the line of scrimmage. Rest of the line to follow. Offset power right. Quick pitch to the right side for Fitz out of the backfield. He falls trapped to the line and the linebackers of the... Yeah, Rochester Out- Rockets outnumbered right there. Rochester shifted right before the snap to their left defensively and outnumbered the black-hatted Mount Vernon Rams. They had that side of a block here. That was simply a numbers game. Rochester won on that right side of the line. And with about 4.34 to go in the third quarter, it's a 25-6 to ball game. The Rockets by 19. It'll be third and 14 for the Rams. The ball on the Rocket 18. Still in the red zone after that loss. Ball spotted on the far hash. They're going to keep one in the backfield. That'll be taken. Now nope, they're going to use Fitz in motion as a wing back. Reeves looking to pass. Going to have to roll the left side there. Swain going to be chased. Able to dump it off. Fitz can't come up with it. Ooh. Swain and number 45. Dylan Hanlon yep. applied so much pressure to Reeves as he was flushed out. And his pass ball is incomplete. The linebacker, linebacker, at that time for Rochester and Mount Vernon couldn't do anything with it. Outnumbered again. Mount Vernon, Rochester getting a little bit more aggressive defensively, starting to send a guy or two at a time. So some personnel changes, obviously, for the Rockets. As the Rams are going to go for it here, and why wouldn't they? Chris Schubert with Danny Terwinski on WMIX. Jeff Crow with us as well for WMIXSports.com. Avery Barton, Swinton Lloyd back in the studio. Offset high. Reeves is rolling to this right to pass. Going to have to find something on that sideline. The pass will be tipped away. It'll be a turnover on yep. down. Turnover on down. The fifth one from Mount Vernon. Drew in. Nothing there. Covered well. And again, Chris, you notice also, too, that Mount Vernon are ro- got down to the 14, and Rochester's defense seemed to get a lot more aggressive there in, the, in that part of the field. That was impressive defense by the guys in the orange hat for Rochester. Well, there's a reason they are back-to-back-to-back state champions. Kelly out of the pistol. Berber Ray the handoff across the 20 between the hashes. For a game of about three down to the 21, if they give them the spot I would give. Oh, and the thing for Rochester is, you know, this is a close game for them, 19 points. 
three touchdowns. And, you know, it's interesting to see if they can run the football. They're going to keep going to spread. Offensively speaking, passing tonight hasn't been what we've seen out of Rochester in the last three years. Oh, yeah, that's a high snap. And there you go. We'll take that. Kelly falls in that snap. It looks like that was going to be down by Greider. That'll be a big loss for the Rockets, and it'll bring up third and long. The ball will be at about the 13, so loss of about eight, and a player down for the Rockets. Of course, yeah. you have feet like this. You're going to have issues like that. Now you're going to have cramping going on, I, and, and the thing about it is you can't drink a bunch of stuff today and expect to get by with it. This is one of those deals that football players, as much as they've been practicing the heat this week, they have probably had to take in double the intake of liquids they've had all week. You've got to start on Monday, Tuesday, Sunday to get yourself ready, not only for the nice game, but to get yourself and stay hydrated for the week for practice and for games. Of course, they will send the rocket down on the field. We will tell you this break the action is powered by the Medicine Shop Pharmacy in Mount Vernon. See Dr. Eric Black at the Sabbath 2339 Broadway. Also, TMS Mobility and Rehab. 311 left to go in the third quarter. It's 25 6. The Rochester Rockets lead the Mount Vernon Rams. Altoff leads Collinsville 17 6 at the end of three. Ooh. So, the Scooters winning, Triad's not. Altoff's winning. Marion's winning, Carbondale's winning, Cokia lost, and Trey is lost, losing, not Carmel winning. There's your nine opponents. Now the shot's going to be backfield for the quarterback. Kelly's looking deep down the field. If Herb Rant can get away, no, it'll be tipped away by Xavier Plus, Tyus of the Rams. Great play. play by Xavier Tyus for the Rams. Got back there in coverage and was able to knock down that pass. That ball had first down, touchdown written all over it. He had good pursuit to get back and make the play defensively. What a nice play that was. You can see Berber Ray glide between the hashes, sneak back behind the coverage. Tyus comes up with a big play there. Before the 16 now for the Rockets. Emptying out that backfield for Pooch the substitution. We'll see. I would not be I'm surprised out. by either option. By the, a flag. Yeah. Rochester jumps off sides. Five-yard penalty for the Rockets. That's 15 yards of penalties here in the half for the Rockets. Pursue them on the kickoff start the half. This is interesting. Fourth and 16, and they're lined up to go for it, although I think it's a pooch kick opportunity. Doug Gardner taking no chances. He'll be the man back for the Rams. All about the Rockets, 41. Near the far hash. So they will send them back as a fullback. Here comes your pooch kick. It's going to be high to Gardner out of bounds. Oh, no. Gardner muffs the punt return. Quick contact there. That might be a sign he tried for the fair catch and not worry about advancing the football. But it looks like the Rams will be able to bounce on it. And they will have it at about the 38-yard line in Rocket Territory with about 256 left to go in the third quarter. It's 25 to 6 Rockets. With five years of county branches and responsive quality service for all of your accounts, Community First Bank would like to be the first to say, welcome back to Personal Bank. You remember FDIC. They are the official voice of Rams Athletics. You're on WMIX. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We're on Facebook as well. We'll have a scoreboard tonight on WMIXSports.com at some point. It's going to be a long drive back to the King City. First play from scrimmage in this series. It's going to be a run for a gain of about one up the middle. So no gainer whatsoever. It'll be second and ten for the Rams. We'll drop below the 219 mark here in the third quarter, 25-6 your score. Rams' only offense has come on a 95-yard kick return by sophomore Brandon Fitzgerald. I'm stymied. Uh Uh-oh. Twitter? Yeah. Uh-oh, i got to sit for a little bit. I'm in timeout. I've tweeted a lot too much. But left and right, double wing back set for the Rams. Good job there by Reeves. The handoff will come to Graham Hinkin. Runs up the far hash to about the 35-yard line. And he'll advance to about the 33. So a nice gain there for the Rams. Brings up third, about six. Need to make something happen here as we're below the two-minute mark of the third quarter. Dancing with that one-minute mark. 
25-6-4 with a three-time defending 4 a stage fan on top, the Rochester Rockets. You're on the road in Sangamon County, just outside of Springfield to the east. Rams are ready to pass the tailback off that eye, and they're not going to get much out of this one. A tackle from behind, good backup on the play there by David Gunter. That's going to be fourth down for the Rams. Ball carrier, I believe, to have been, I thought, Hester. And that there was tough. Just plain old defense there by Rochester stuffing Mount Vernon. Ducoyne has lost 44 nothing, and Chester leads Hamco 46-6 in a running clock situation. Those two games get done pretty quickly. Offset eye for the Rams. Hinkin, Hester, and Miller Gray. The quarterback Reeves under center, double tight. Reeves is rolling out to the left side to pass on fourth down. Trying to find his man. It'll be too high for Gardner. Had to throw over the secondary, and nice defense on the play from Brock Pusher. And it falls incomplete. Turnover on downs for the Rams at the 45-second mark of this third quarter, trailing by 19. It's 25-6 Rockets. What? Yes, I am in Twitter timeout. You better believe it, at Jake, at Giants. And right. we are currently in Twitter timeout. Don't know why. Which Giants? Jake or that? Yes. Jake Giants. Bye. Future Ram, if not already. I lose track of people rather easily. Yeah. This is going to be a carry to about the 40. The will beat Newton 40-7. to seven. Should be a, at least a freshman. Mm-hmm. Try to think. Sometimes it's better if I don't. Tweet us. Let us know. Yeah, remind me. Yeah. I try. Not always easy. I don't write stuff down like I should. And a shotgun this time. Look at the left side. Deep man. It's going to be a tough play for Miller Gray in the yeah. secondary, but just out of the reach of Bivens up that left sideline. The pass fell incomplete at about the 35-yard line. Glad to have you with us on WMIX. Mount Vernon, a free service from Withers Broadcasting. Another free service is the video online at WMIXSports.com. We do have a mobile audio feed as well. Should you maybe be in a 1X area, it'll be able to work for you in there. Those are unfortunate. How many of those areas left, though, around the place, thankfully? The pistol set for the Rockets. Kelly, the quarterback, for Murray, the tailback. Fullback, of course, is David Gunter. Right slot, split left and right. And that's going to be a quarterback keeper. Kelly gets first down yards between the hashes. The brought down at about the 49-yard line by Alonzo Watson. Big tackle there, keeps it in Rocket territory. But a gain of about 10 will make it first to 10 for the Rockets with 12 seconds left to go. Clock will stop the chain's move. So 10 seconds of the quarter. Here comes the handoff to Berber Ray. He has a gain of about nine. He'll take the extra leap. Brought down by a pair of Ram tacklers. Gets to about the 41-yard line in Ram territory. So it's about two seconds. Rochester going to try to get another playoff here. That's a Clock stops with the chains. Here we go. No time left to the clock. Kelly's going to roll to the left side, try to make something happen. He breaks to the outside, gets past the 35, down to the 30. Steps out of bounds at about the, I don't know, about the 28-yard line. It'll be first and 10 rackets where we come back after three quarters. Rochester 25, Mount Vernon 6. This is Ranch Football powered by Community First Bank. Here's Jeff Schmidt for Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. We don't care where you purchase the car. We would like to do your service work. They can pull their car right in the shop, get out, and go into a climate-controlled environment. Our customers really do enjoy that. Our customers are very important to us, and we strive very hard to make the buying experience and the service experience second to none. I know a lot of dealers say that in their advertising, but we live it. Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon, 3423 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. This is Rams football from WMIX Sports. 
Bible Studios, driven by King City Chrysler Center. Tens of events going on until tomorrow. Get by and see them at 1603 Broadway. Don't forget about express lane, fast oil changes, and more. No appointment necessary at King City Chrysler. We start the fourth quarter, first to ten for the Rockets. They lead 25-6 to six over the Rams. Here on WMIX, it'll be first and ten on the Rams 28-yard line. Rochester ran a first down play. At the end of the third quarter, they got the snap off inside. Symbol of the halfback, fullback, of course. Won't matter because it's going to be a throw to the left side. Pass the play to Drew Hill. Gets inside the 25 to about the 24. Mm-hmm. Good tackle by Green for the Rams. Yeah. It is it's bear down time here. You're going to find out here a little bit in this quarter who you got, who you got, and the trenches and times aren't very good for Mount Vernon because they're trailing here by 19. 25 6 your score, Rockets on top. It'll be on the 23 yard line. It'll be second at about five. Sam Bell, the handoff. He breaks the tackle at the edge to the right, got outside the pass, and now headed for far for the end zone. Touchdown. And the Rockets take a 31 6 lead here in the fourth. Well, well, run, 20 you can tell, yard touchdown run. Yeah, you can tell that Mount Vernon is tired right now. And right now they can't get a lot going. And, it, and again, being down like they are, it's a struggle to get yourself up into this. But Simmons on for the point after a tip. Try to make it 32-6 here with about 11, 31 to play in the fourth. Here comes the kick. Looks like it's good this time. Yeah. Thirty-two six now in Rochester again, and again you don't want to do it. You know moral victories, and you're losing, and this thing another. You want to try to get something done. I think this is where you find out where who your warriors are as far as this goes in this last eleven twenty-one. As Coach Chainer and staff will be evaluating the film, you got to find out who's going to go to battle with you, whether it's good times or bad times for Mount Vernon. Of course, we'll talk to Jared Shainer on the Saturday Sports Show tomorrow. It'll be after the 8 o'clock news right here on AM 940. Online at WYXSports.com. We'll also talk with Johnny Hollis of the Red Devils. That's where they're walking to go with on. Kent Williams of University of Tennessee Basketball stopped by. He's having a fundraiser in September to benefit Relay for Life. All right, we got a, we got somebody begging for a shout-out. Who's that? Back. At uh, Clayton Reeves. He got one early. I, I know, he but he's called Dylan Reeves, in. his older brother, who yes. graduated. There was a three. Yeah, there it is. You get two. That will suffice this week and next week. Let's see the pick he posted. How, how's he watched it? What pick did he post? All right. All right, one tweet. Oh, my. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, I thought he posted something about how to watch. No. Ramps. I want to oh. I get favorite thing. There's oh, the, that picture. Oh, look at right. there. Well played. Uh, well played. Well played. We'll give you that. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. It's 32 6, 11 to 21. Part me to play the fourth game the clock. That's going to be a line drive. A little bit of trouble there for Mr. Green. Jesse Green, the sophomore, 5'10, 155 pounds. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Unbelievable. Timeout stuff is not very good. Hopefully, they're, they're enjoying the video. Yeah, hopefully you might have scored more. Did you like that? I thought yeah. you might. Yeah, worked hard on that Tuesday. Nothing like cutting it close. All right. Story of my life. Anyhow, we kick off it up about the 30th. Just inside the far hash. First and 10 for the Rams. 32 to 6 your score. Rockets on top. <laughs> Reeves under center for the Rams. Well, the last play right. Miller Gray, of course, in motion. Dillon's going to keep it himself as he rolls to the left. Gets a few on the play. Nice. Breaks the tackle. Dives ahead. Just shy of the 40 to about the 38-yard line, which would be a gain of eight. Make it uh, second of two. We've got to point out that uh, Heron trails Waterloo 14-3, but Josh Payne of Heron broke the school record tonight with a 49-yard field goal in that game. Nice. You know how I am about field goals. That's what. But he's really making that. There we go. He appreciated it. That's all that matters. Doug Gardner split to the right. I'm assuming Tyus split to the left. Fitz will be in motion. It's an inside handoff. But where does it end up? Looks like Miller Gray still fighting for position. He rolled out. Yeah, the some far of the hash. football, too, football. on that football. big hit. We'll see if Mount Vernon kept it or Rochester fell on it. He got to the 41. Yeah. It would be a first down if they hang on. 
And with that, Mount Vernon retains possession. It looks like it's the first down, their first one of the second half. That's going to be a gain of three. Rash football is powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. The five locations of Mount Vernon, Dick Stein, and Woodlock. Community First Bank, proud to be the official voice of Rams and Lady Rams Athletics. Welcome back to Personal Banking. Good for FDIC. Our next broadcast will actually be Thursday night, Lady Rams Volleyball against West Frankfurt. Watch it online at WMIXSports.com. Or we'll to it right here on WMIX. On the AM. Miller Gray was in motion. He got the hand up, yep. crept up the left side for a loss. It'll be second and about 12. At about the 39 and a half. Garfield continues that first week winning streak, winning in the night over the Bearcats, 31 6. Nice. You didn't jinx him. No. I mean, he'll come back on next year. Right. Next year, we might have him. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah. For our preview, he won't, he won't mind it. Mike, it's brought him any bad luck. Right. Of course, that could be a jinx to the Rams that we talked about on the way up in week one. 32-6, Rockets on top. Second and 12 from the Rams from their own 39-yard line. We'll drop below the nine-minute mark on this possession here in the fourth quarter. Rams need some points. Reeves, the quarterback under center. Actually, out of the shotgun, takes the direct snap. A wildcat this time, going up the left side, trying to get back to the original line. Not going to happen if he gets a gain of about one. They might give him two, but either way, it's going to be third down in the roughly ten. Thanks to App Blake Jones for listening. App Blake Jones won, in fact. A guy that could be a force, as we yeah. talked about Rams baseball earlier. Uh-huh. A lot of potential there. A lot to live up to after last year's group getting fourth place. No kidding. Of course, they're going to have a big golf outing fundraiser coming up. A proud baseball program. They don't like to ask for money, but, man, they could... Definitely use some things out there at the baseball field. And they're on their way, doing a great job. In motion, it's going to be Fitz Reeves at their center handoff. It's going to go to Miller Gray. Between the hashes, looks like he gets the first down, down marker pass midfield. Right run. And between the hashes, falls to about the 49-yard line. Inside. Inside. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Inside the tackles there that time. The hard running. Not the running that you get a lot of fancy makeup for. That's the hard running where you go inside the tackles and get a first down 10 yards. Follow us on Twitter at WMIX Sports. We're on Facebook as well. Facebook.com slash WMIX Sports. We'll have a scoreboard tonight at WMIXSports.com. Might be a little late. It's going to be late before we get back. Yep. 13 minutes past the 9 o'clock hour. 32 6 is your score. Or about at the 8.13 mark of this fourth quarter. And now we're going to have a salvage of play timeout in Mount Vernon. This timeout is presented by the Medicine Shop. 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon. Proud to sponsor the Rams once again. Dr. Eric Black and the staff of the Medicine Shop support the local community and wish the Rams the very best this season. Timeout on the field. We'll take one, too. This is Rams football from WMIX Sports. This is your local State Farm agent, Tony Wilt. I want to thank Mount Vernon and the surrounding area for continuing to support us over the past five years. If you have never sat down with someone to go over your insurance program, let me invite you into our office. Let us show you what working with the industry leader, represented by a local agent, can do for you. I'm located just off 42nd Street. You can reach our office 24 hours a day at 242-1421 or on the web at TonyWilt.com. Thanks again and go Rams! Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. Now is a great time to move your account to Community First Bank. With our new one account offering the highest interest rate in the market, free checking, and CD specials delivered by people you know and trust, why would you not bank with the market leader in Jefferson County? We offer five locations with seven ATMs and have been serving the Jefferson County market since 1906. Stop in and see why our bank is the fastest growing bank in Jefferson County. Community First Bank, welcome back to Personal Banking, member FDIC. Find us on Facebook. This is Rams football from WMIX Sports. And we welcome you back, WMIX and WMIXSports.com. 8.09 to play in the fourth quarter, 32-6 is your score. Rams with the football on a first and 10 to the 48. Lost up the left side. Brayden Fitzgerald's the run of about five. He'll be second and about five yards now for the Rams here in the fourth, trailing 32-6. to six. Fitzgerald's got a motor that never stops. Been like that for a long time, watching in the junior high ranks now at the prep level. He just has a motor that does not quit. Rams will get away from the Central State 8 or 10 next year and start off with a game, a couple of games the Apollo Conference with the Taylorville Tornadoes week one and the 
Strauss and Trojans week two. I'm out of I'm out of Twitter jail, by the way. Good. <laughs> Under centers Reeves and Mosher Graham Hicks sweep up the sweep up the right side. It's just the outside Run. the near hash gets to about the forty. Run. Gets to about the thirty eight. You know, and these are things you're going to see the rest of the way. You won't see teams like Rochester. <laughs> you're going to see some things here positive. You're going to see some Rams victories, that's for sure. Because you can see some things not only up front, running back-wise, but up front on the offensive line as well. Of course, we told you about Josh Ames kicking a 49-yard field goal in the heron Waterloo game for the Tigers. Something you may not hear elsewhere. You also won't hear the Rams report. Catch it every halftime, every Friday night here from WYX Sports. We talk about all the other sports. That's going to be a quarterback keeper. Yep. Right, right up the gut for a first down. It's a gain of about two, and that's all they needed. You know, that Reeves kid's pretty tough. I'm fighting, by the yes, way. Yes, you are. I know. But On the uh, Twitterverse, where you can give us a follow as well at WYX Sports. So what about this? Six minute mark now in the fourth quarter. Still thirty two to six racket. Frankfurt and AJ played a one hour first quarter. They are just now getting into the third quarter. They're still at the half at the Shrine Bowl. Of course they well they started at the same time. Seven thirty. Yep. Well, quite a few seven thirty times tonight. Some of those were originally scheduled. Now the shotgun for Dylan Reeves, and the Rams will have to call a timeout. This timeout is presented by the medicine shop at Mount Vernon. It's twenty three thirty nine Broadway. Eric Black and his staff, Dr. Eric Black, I should say, proud to sponsor the Rams yet again this season. They always support the community and wish the Rams the very best. Fourth quarter from Rochester, 6-18 to play in the fourth quarter. A 32-6 ball game with the Rams having first and 10 from the 37-yard line in Rocket territory when we get back to the action. A lot of action going on around these parts all over the state here. It's, it's football opener. Oh, what's Fred Fitzgerald got about 160 yards of return or more yardage tonight, plus around 30, yep, 20, 30 yards rushing, give or take. He's had a busy night. Yes, he has. So we'll get back to the action. You can just score an update here in a little bit. Those are always brought to you by Jody Wilk State Farm Insurance. First, we told you about our streaming powered by Rim Lake College. Coming to you live from the WMIX Sports Mobile Studios, driven by Fort Square. Out of the shotgun, a lead pass up the left, intended for the Montez Miller Gray. Out the flat, it's going to fall out complete. I'll bring up second and 10 for the Rams. Flock will stop at 6.15 here in the fourth. Fairfield over Christopher, 31.60 is the yard to be exact. And Carmine gets a double nickel and beats the Elvarado Tricle, 55 nothing. Reeves is back under center. They'll split. Gardner left, split. Tyus to the right. Double wing back set. It's going to be a handoff inside. Graham Hinkett will bulldoze his way up the near hash. Past the 35 to about the 30. Should be a gain of about seven to bring up third and three. Good uh, run by Graham Hinkett again. Those driving around listening to us, all kids of all ages, thanks for listening to us in Jefferson County. Or give us a shout out to listen to tonight and move around the area. Nice. Heron loses to Waterloo, fourteen to three. Kind of surprised. That's a surprise. But Waterloo was pretty good last year. That's we saw them play. The Valley is becoming much more than just a baseball yeah. conference. Yeah. As this is going to be inside handoff again. Go with what works, Graham Pinkett. As he tries to dive for more, get those few extra yards. Maybe a gain of about two. If so, to be fourth and short. I don't think he got. It. It's on the near hash. Being dangerously close to the five minute mark of the fourth quarter. Thirty two to six Rockets lead the Rams. On what's hard to believe, a late August opener. <laughs> Here's the way the calendar rolled over for Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's always the same, but the start of football season is not. Got to wait a little longer for the Macy's Day parade this year. Measurement chains coming out. Go through an update. What I have, Chester running clock leads Hamco fifty three twelve late. El Dorado leads SBWW. 34 nothing. that's late as well. Out off over Collinsville, 17-6 into three. Carbondale rolling under Nick Hill, 36 nothing. The Battle of Marion County is tied at six. Last time I knew it's a half. Granite City over Marion late, 18-13 in the fourth. Mount Carmel over Harrisburg, 27-6 late. 
Well, it's going to be fourth and four. very, very, very short for the Rams. Here with the ball on the Rocket 27, 32 to 6. Rochester on top with about 5.25 to go in the quarter. Offset power eye for the Rams. It'll be Dylan Reeves with their center double tight set. Looks back at his back to this tailback for H. Fitzgerald. Going to do the quarterback keeper. Can they advance the football for a first down? That's right. They their quarterback. Yep. By the way, the he got it. side judge is coming across the field. Should be a first down as Reeves gets that long, lanky, strong body of his through. Hey, there you go. Number to Rams soccer beat Civic today. 4-2 in penalty kick. Wow, I love that. Uh, that's when it, that separates the men from the boys right there. I, why do you change the rule that you played all that time? That's what I don't understand. Like in baseball, if you're tied after nine, you have a home run derby. Why does hockey do the shootout? Because they need people to watch. Let's off the PKs. It's similar. It's similar. It is. But before they get to the shootout, hockey plays five minutes, too. There might have been extra time. As Reeves looking to roll the pass, connects with Gardner, and he's able to hang on. That's going to be about a five, maybe four-yard completion. I was a little plaintive. Slant pass has been kind of Rams football over the years. Who could forget the Don Trail Black 42-yard slant touchdown against Cahokia in 07 that allowed the Rams to move on to the second round against Charleston, which, bringing me full circle, is who the Rams will play week two next year. is just now yep. today. <laughs> Yeah, El Dorado is going to get a win over the Red Devils, 40 to zip, it looks like. They lead with 2.45 to go, running clock in Franklin County. Modern day up 34-15 on Effingham. As the Knights have another tough schedule this year. Second and seven, spotted on the far hash. Reeves looking to roll the pass again. Eight toward the end zone, underthrown for Gardner, and it'll fall incomplete. It'll bring up third and seven with 3.59 to go in the fourth. Secondaries for both teams have been pretty solid tonight as well. Hasn't been very easy for the quarterbacks to throw passes. Granite City now leaves Marion 25-13 with 5.41 to go in the game. Of course, all these scores brought to you by Tony Wilk, State Farm Insurance. Rams Athletics powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. Bank with Ray and Bria at Community First Bank's 42nd Street location in Mount Vernon. And welcome back to Personal Bank. You remember FDIC. Split right is Sias, split left Gardner, and motion Miller Gray. It's going to be a handoff and a good handoff, it looks like. I that's Graham Hink get on the carry. Up and up the left side off tackle along the far hash. Got just shy of the 20-yard line. You feel like heading into the Mount Vernon game next week at Mascuda that the Rams are going to be in a lot of these games the rest of the way. I think you see a team that's improved in the offseason from last year with conditioning and weight training. This team is much, much better. We can see improvement even here tonight. Yes, we can. Juniors and sophomores primarily. Seniors on the line. Double wing back set in motion. Hickson. Going to be a reverse up the left side. And they're going to flush out Fitz for a loss near the 30-yard line. So that'll be a loss of about nine. Bring up. Now, that play never went anywhere. The timing was off on it. Rochester was able to outnumber Mount Vernon. No way they could get that play off and running, and Mount Vernon will turn it over again on down. 3-13 left to play. Here in the fourth quarter. Stay tuned for your Schmidt Chevrolet post game show coming up after a break. We'll come back, recap this one, get you set with one final scoreboard update, and tell you our player of the game as the Rams trail Rochester on the road 32 to 6 here in the fourth quarter. Turnover on downs gets Rochester the football in their own territory out of the 28th, probably first and 10. Can't make out the back out of the shotgun for Kelly, the quarterback. It's going to be a handoff. Was the, it Berber A still? Yeah. Yep. I, I, in a black diamond tonight, the average score, no, nope, that's 32. The average score, point average tonight is 30 points per game in the four games played tonight with the Johnson City by any game tomorrow. How hot will that game be? Yikes. I don't want to be a part of it. Carbondale wins the opener 43 nothing. Already in connection with Coach Nick Hill to see if he can be on. Out of the shack, and it's going to be an end around. We didn't get to talk to him last week, unfortunately. Big carry for first down. You're right up the near sideline, past the 40 push down to about the 44 yard line. As that was, Alan Tapscott, the 5845 pound junior. 
hoping for the correct pronunciation on that first name, but it's Matt Scott's last name. Out of the shotgun. One of the slot each side, split left and right for the Rockets. They lead 32-6 to six as we near the two-minute mark of this fourth quarter. Opening night of high school football in Illinois. Missouri also opened up tonight many places. Simo. But this is going to be a carryoff tackle. Ooh, good bust out to the near sideline. Good run there by Buecher as he gets past midfield down at about the 49-yard line. That'll be a gain of eight. They have a play second and two. Football in Missouri down there. They do. Carlisle beats Nashville 26-22 tonight. Quite a few CMO teams are on Withers Broadcasting Stations in southeast Missouri. Sticking with the shotgun here. Single back set. Looks like it's Buker the long back. They'll load three on the right side. Buker will go to the right side. One split to the left. And that's going to come back across midfield, working to about the 45-yard line. It'll be a gain of about four. It'll be first down yardage as we get within one minute of the finality of this game. 32-6 to six Rochester as they continue to run the football to kill some clock. Nothing fancy running the football, just power up the middle. One forty to play in the fourth quarter, and we're going to have a flag on the play. Play clock. It was only at about 16, I thought, or maybe 17. It's going to be on the Rams. It's going to go offside, so it'll be first and five now for Rochester. Minute 39 to go. Redbud beats Pinkneyville, 22-12. Nice. Vincent trying to make a game with Carterville. Not much time left there, though. Carterville State ranked at 4A. Quick handoff to Buecher in between the hashes. Just inside the near yeah. hash to about the 39-yard line. Maybe a gain of one to bring him second and four. 19 left to go. Rochester running the football pretty well just up the middle off tackle. And off tackle, I should say. Can't run up the middle off tackle. And we drop below the minute mark here in the fourth quarter. 17 seconds on the play clock. It's second and four. Ball spotted inside the near hash. Second and four for the Rockets. Out of the shotgun here. New personnel. I believe that to be a handoff to Buker in between the hashes. A flag on the play as he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Probably going to be a hold on Rochester, I would think. A lot of fab- a lot of fabric in one hand of one Rochester lineman. He thought prom broke out in August. <laughs> About the thirty-seven second mark of the fourth. Thirty-two to six. The Rockets will be one and zero. Yeah. Well, that's not what I saw. It is a five-yard face mask on Mount Vernon. I didn't see that. I saw a lot of fabric in the hand of a young man from Rochester, but I didn't see what everybody else saw. Reverse <laughs> deal a couple times here. Would you not? Do what? Would you not kneel? Yeah. Freshman quarterback into the game. Yeah. Josh Grant, probably relation, not sure. But hey, game over. 31 second mark of the fourth. That's 32 to 6 Rochester. 17 seconds on the play clock. First and 10 from the Ram 34 yard line. Josh Grant, the freshman quarterback. 5'10, 165 pounds. Assume that he would be the future. And Dobbs going to come off the left side on a sweep. Able to break the tackle. Gets to the 30, now down to the 25 for future. And that should do it here. As we hit the four-second mark, and the Rochester Rockets are going to win this one. Your final score, Rochester 32, Mount Vernon 6. We'll tell you all about it. This is Christopher Lake. Post-game show coming up. This is Rams football powered by Cutie First Bank. I'm meteorologist Dave Bowers. We'll look at your next round weather. It's going to be a warm, humid night with a spotty shower with thunderstorm below about 70. Quite hot and humid tomorrow with some sunshine. Shower with thunderstorm in the area into the evening, a high about 96. Late tomorrow night, partly cloudy, sticky, low 68. Sunday, hot and humid with clouds and sunshine. An afternoon thunderstorm in parts of the area, a high about 92. And then Labor Day, cooler and less humid, mostly sunny, high 84. Next round weather from Delta View, MIX, Mount Vernon, Illinois. Come on us, yes you can. 
the 2013 Chrysler 200 Touring and Limited models at King City Chrysler in Mount Vernon are luxury mid-size sedans with standard alloy wheels, power seats, tilted steering wheel, power windows and locks, CD player, and a great fuel economy of 32 MPG highway that will have you making fewer trips to the gas station. Don't forget Chrysler 200 Touring and Limited models have up to $3,500 in rebates or 0% financing for up to 72 months. You'll be saving all around. Come see us at the Special 10 event for a very limited time beginning Saturday, August 10th, and we'll help you find the right car for the family at King City Chrysler Center, 1603 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or browse the selection online at kingcitychrysler.com and find us on Facebook. In this fast-paced world, wouldn't it be nice to simplify things? At People's National Bank, we have. At People's National Bank, you can have a free checking account with a Visa check card, online banking with bill pay, direct deposit, mobile banking, and receive your statements online. Call me, Melody True, at People's National Bank in Mount Vernon today and get the products and services you deserve. People's National Bank, serving Southern Illinois since 1909, member FDIC. Non-usage fees may apply. It's back. RLC Golf Outlet Super Demo Day on Saturday, August 31st. Major manufacturers will answer any questions about your favorite equipment, plus free balls and fittings. You can test the best golf equipment in the industry and enjoy free hot dogs and soft drinks. Plus, RLC has outrageous sales all day on the most popular names in clubs, balls, bags, and swag at Super Demo Day, Saturday, August 31st, from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. at the Red Lake College Golf Outlet off of Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Cherry Creek Driving Range is now open every day. More Americans are on a move today than ever before. One of the most popular modes of transportation is the motorcycle. Motorcycles take us to our jobs, school, to the beach, and all around the country. If you're a bike rider, your Pekin Insurance Agency, Page Insurance on Crown View in Mount Vernon, wants to make sure you have the best insurance protection while you're riding. Ask about the money-saving auto cycle discount and the experienced driver discount, too. Call Page Insurance at 242-7000 today about motorcycle insurance from Pekin Insurance. This is Mount Vernon Rams football from WMIX Sports. The Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show starts now. And we welcome you back to Rochester for your Schmidt Chevrolet Post Game Show. Chris Hugo with Danny Zawinski alongside. It's a final. The Rochester Rockets 32, the Mount Vernon Rams 6, the Rams are 0 1 to start the year. Rochester, of course, 1 0. They'll have a date with Sacred Heart Griffin. The Leonard Bowl will be next week here at Rochester. Of course, the Rams will travel to Mascuda. 6.30 will be your pregame on WMIX. 7 o'clock kickoff of video at WMIXSports.com. Before we get to all of that, we have Lady Rams Volleyball next. Actually, make that this coming Thursday as they will welcome the West Frankfurt Lady Redbirds to Shagnon Gymnasium. We'll have it. will be hot. <laughs> we'll have that broadcast for you here on AM 940 and online with video at WMIXSports.com. Full scoreboard to come, full stats to come as well. Chris Chico with Denny Zerwinski alongside. Before we get to all of that, we'll take a quick break, come back, and get you set. 32-6 final, the Rockets to beat the Rams. This is Malvern and Football from WMIX Sports. Friday Night Lights are back. The best in high school football content is right here at WMIX Sports. Don't miss area coaches and our panel of experts as the Saturday Sports Show revisits the region's most important games. We'll also recap the WMIXSports.com scoreboard, plus talk up other local sports. Look for the Saturday Sports Show after the 8 a.m. news on WMIX 940 and WMIXSports.com. Powered by Crossroads Community Hospital. It's more than a hospital. It's what healthcare should be. This is Chase Landers with Landers Collision Centers. It's been said that in order to grow, you have to change. Very rarely anymore do insurance companies ask the phrase to go out and get three estimates. The new phrase insurance companies are asking is, would you like to take your vehicle to one of our direct repair facilities? This is a way for your insurance company and collision repair center to help relieve the stress you may have from your unfortunate incident. And, as Landers Collision Centers has adapted to this forever changing industry, we are extremely happy to announce that we are a direct repair facility for over 10 different insurance companies. It's likely that one of them is yours. From dealing with your insurance company, setting you up at the rental vehicle, lifetime warranty on repairs, and of course, Landers free, lifetime detailing for qualified customers, Landers Collision Centers literally takes the stress from your incident and turns it back into a shiny new ride for you to enjoy again. Landers is here for you whenever you need us. Big or small, Landers fixes them all. 1-888-LANDERS. That's 1-888-LANDERS. 
Hi, this is Joe David Cummins, President of Community First Bank. By now you have heard about our new One Checking product. The new One account is a high interest earning, free checking account designed for everyone. Unlike other banks that pay interest on higher balance, this account pays interest on all balances. From high schoolers to Warren Buffett, One will work for you. You can talk to one of us at 244-3000 and learn about the details. One, exclusively at Community First Bank. You will be one happy customer. Member FDIC. Watch the Rams online at WMIXSports.com. Powered by Red Lake College. And we welcome you back on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Chris Hugo with Danny Zawinski alongside. For your Schmidt Chevrolet post-game show, Schmidt Chevrolet, find all their inventory online at Schmidt Chevrolet. Dot com. And of course, Jeff Crow with us as well, bringing you the video. Quentin Lloyd back at our Mount Vernon studio. Avery Barton there, tag teaming as well. Of course, not much to do here. We do owe a scoreboard update and some stats. Stats first. Unofficial at best. <laughs> Rochester with 18 first towns and Mount Vernon's 12. Turnovers, Mount Vernon had 7, Rochester 4. Penalties, Mount Vernon 7 for 47, and Rochester 5 for 30. Your rushing yards, Mount Vernon had 166. Rochester over 200 yards. Passing Mount Vernon 54. Rochester well over 175 yards. Total 220 for Mount Vernon. 375 for Rochester. Your final score, Rochester 32, Mount Vernon 6. There you go. That's a look at your stats. Of course, calculated by D.C. 32-6, your final, as you just heard. The Rams fall to 0-1. Rochester's 1-0 again. Yeah. We need to get some scores. Scores. What are you ready for uh, last we heard, we know that Hamilton County was trailing Chester 53-12. We do not have a final as of yet. Fairfield beat CZR 31-6. El Dorado shut out Sester Blair, Waltville, Woodlawn 40 to zip, and Carmine, and a change score, an addendum score, beat El Dorado Trico 61 to nothing. In games involving teams that Mount Vernon are likely to see, Altoff led Collinsville 17-6 at the end of three. O'Fallon beat Koki tonight on the road 40-12. It was Carbondale winning the Jackson County rivalry 43 to nothing over Murfreesboro. Salem Centralia was tied at six and a half. That's the last thing I got from them. It was Marion trailing Granite City late 25 13 in the fourth. Mascuda was leading Bree Central at the half 10 to nothing. Mattoon was leading Triad at the half 22 21 at the end of three. Mount Carmel leads Harrisburg 34 to six. Final score Carter will be bent in the night 22 13. Massac County was leading at the half 13 to 2 over Matt, over Freeburg. That game is well, almost probably over with. At the half, it was AJ over West Frankfurt 42 12. At the final, it was Waterloo over Heron 14 to 3. Highland shut out to Coyne 44 0. It was Carlisle over Nashville 26 22. It was Redbud over Pinckneyville 22 12. Sparta was leading Dupo at the half, 32-14, and that's all the scores we have at this time. There you go. That's all we got for the moment. We'll have more later at WMIXSports.com. Where you can tune to the Saturday Sports Show tomorrow on AM 940, right here at WMIXSports.com as well. Of course, Tony Will, State Farm Insurance, bringing you our scoreboard updates all season long. Find Tony in his office, give him a call, look for him on the web at TonyWill.com, or do what we do. Try to find that white State Farm Jeep around town. It's like a... A game of Where's Waldo, except Where's Anthony Wilt. Yep. Well, find that White State Farm. You saw it yesterday on Broadway, like I said earlier. But yep. we need to take a break. We'll come back half for you or make that a Rams player of the game here from WYX Sports. This is Mount Vernon Rams football powered by Community First Bank. Convenience and prop service is what the Medicine Shop Pharmacy is all about. Pharmacy owner Eric Black wants you to know that his pharmacy's drive through staff will have your prescription ready in 10 or 15 minutes. There are two drive through windows and a staff member is always ready to serve you with a smile. Another great service is our delivery. We'll bring your medication to your home or office just to make your life a little easier. Here's pharmacist and pharmacy owner Eric Black. What differentiates us is the level of service, the level of convenience. We have two drive through windows, delivery here in town to business or home. And those kinds of things you just cannot get. And when you couple that with the connection, uh, the personal connection that we feel with our customers and they feel with us, really is a, uh, we really have no contest with the chains. Make the Medicine Shop Pharmacy your pharmacy of choice. They're locally owned and support the community too. The Medicine Shop Pharmacy, 2339 Broadway in Mount Vernon, or call 618-242-8776. Matt 
credit, no credit, no problem. Auto Mart of Salem is here to help. Auto Mart of Salem is your local shop here, pay here headquarters. Quality cars, vans, SUVs, and trucks in stock now. All credit applications are accepted. Shop here and pay here at Auto Mart of Salem, 1819 West Main, Salem, Illinois. Shop online at automartofsalem.com or call us at 618-548-8611. It's back. RLC Golf Outlet Super Demo Day on Saturday, August 31st. Major manufacturers will answer any questions about your favorite equipment, plus free balls and fittings. You can test the best golf equipment in the industry and enjoy free hot dogs and soft drinks. Plus, RLC has outrageous sales all day on the most popular names in clubs, balls, bags, and swag at Super Demo Day, Saturday, August 31st, from 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. at the Red Lake College Golf Outlet off of Potomac Boulevard in Mount Vernon. Cherry Creek Driving Range is now open every day. This is Mount Vernon Rams football, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland. And we welcome you back to the Schmidt Triple A Post Game Show, thirty four twenty three Broadway in Mount Vernon, or find all the inventory online at SchmidtAA dot com. Rams football, of course, powered by Community First Bank of the Heartland, and their new one checking all season long. Next week, we're in Mascouda. We go from Sangamon to St. Clair, as far as counties are concerned. In the state of Illinois, no, it's not Clinton. Oh, I know okay. what you might be thinking. Yeah, I know. St. Clair County. <laughs> Tongue in cheek, inside joke. But there we go. Here we are. Player of the game to pick. Mascuda next week, of course, 6.30 will be your pregame on WMAXSports.com. We hope that you've enjoyed our new features on the broadcast. Not only the scoreboard on the video, um, the Rams report, the MVTH death minute, listening to Coach Shaner's interview in the pregame. Usually we try to make one improvement a year, but this year I feel that we've made four with one possibly still to come in the next six weeks or so. So hopefully by the end of football, We'll have another improvement this time of the on-air variety to announce. So, all of that said, we need to find a player of the game for Rams football, and I think that Graham Hinkin had a great game running. I think that the lines on both ends played pretty well, but I think, and I know I keep saying I think, I think you have to look at the special teams and what Braden Fitzgerald was able well, to do. There's no doubt because he was the guy that kind of gave the Rams a little life there. And I, I think you got to look at him for a lot of things. I mean, he did a lot of good things for the Rams, not only special teams-wise tonight, defensively as well. And uh, he had an all-around game. And defensively played a little bit as well, maybe not uh, not putting in things like uh, as he did on special teams or offense. But boy, did he play a big part in this game tonight. Well, he did. And you give a lot of credit also to quarterback Dylan Reeves, who, who did not, to my, in my opinion, make as far as throwing the ball, make any bad decisions mm-hmm. whatsoever. And that, that takes a lot of credit. As well. So, Saturday Sports Show tomorrow. We'll talk with Jared Shaner about tonight's game. 32 6, of course, your final. Braden Fitzgerald is your player of the game. We'll talk about all that tomorrow on the Saturday Sports Show. Johnny Hollis will join us. We'll talk about the Red Devils game tonight here in week one. We'll talk with our WIX Sports correspondents, John Shadowins, of course, and now joining him this year is Todd Rushing. John Shadowins was at the Benton Carterville game tonight. Todd Rushing went to the Carbondale Murfreesboro game tonight. We'll decide on the way back. We got lots of time. Uh, who a couple guests are, and then that big one at the end there, of the second hour. Ken Williams, Mount Vernon's favorite son, will join us tomorrow. We'll talk about his fundraiser, of course, for Relay for Life. His wonderful mother, Barb, uh, beat cancer, I believe, 20 years ago now. So, kind of a celebration for that. It's going to be a fundraiser involving basketball. Uh, you may have read about it thus far. You get to hear about it tomorrow. On the Saturday Sports Show, after the 8 o'clock news, tomorrow morning, AM 940 at WMAXSports.com. Our next Rams broadcast, we told you next Friday night at Mascuda, 6.30 your pregame, 7 o'clock your kickoff. Our next Lady Rams broadcast this Thursday night, it's Volleyball versus West Frankfurt, live from Shagnon Gym, right here on AM 940, video at WMAXSports.com. We sure hope you'll take the time to join us there. 1-0 after a straight, sweat, straight set sweep last night against Weber Township in Bluford. So we hope you'll tune in as well. Hope you enjoyed the Ranch Report. Hope you enjoyed some of the new features, especially the MVTHS MVTH Minute. Time to go before we get too tongue-tied. For Danny Zawetsky, for Jeff Pro, for Avery Barton, for Quentin Lloyd, and of course for Tyler Barker, who did a great job tonight with our special reports. I'm Chris Hugo, reminding you of the final score here tonight from Rochester. The Rockets 32, the Rams 6. So long from Sacramento County. You've been listening to Mount Vernon Rams football on WMIX and WMIXSports.com. Rams football is sponsored by Community First Bank of the Heartland, 
Welcome back to Personal Banking. Rams football has also been sponsored by the Medicine Shop of Mount Vernon, Ford Square and King City Chrysler. You can count on us. Red Lake College. Save thousands on your college education. Log on to rlc.edu. State Farm Insurance Agent Tony Wilt. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Second Chance Auto on Route 142 East in Mount Vernon. Van Terra Bank. Good Samaritan Regional Health Center. Raising a hospital. Raising the bar. Winning Edge. Schmidt Ford of Salem. And also by the Orthopedic Center of Southern Illinois. Landers Collision Centers of Mount Vernon and Salem. Schmidt Chevrolet of Mount Vernon. All Stars and Stitches. Central Christian Church. And People's National Bank. Stay in the game on Twitter. Follow us at WMIX Sports. Or log on to WMIXSports.com. Now back to America's best music on AM 940, WMIX. 